This is a HeadGum Podcast. Ah, this week on the program, this one almost killed Eric Siska <laughs> dead in his living room. It's Cats and Dogs. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Eric Katzka. Woof, woof. Chris Cabin. <laughs> and we hate movies. <laughs> Welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, that's right. The 2022 summer blockbuster extravaganza is continuing with 2001's Lawrence Gutterman directed Cats and Dogs. You may remember that name <laughs> from previous episodes, Son of the Mask. Oh, baby. Well, uh, this movie got him that because this movie, you're going to be like summer blockbuster Cats and Dogs. This movie is number one in the box office July 4th weekend. It was oh, a yeah. huge fucking movie. July 4th weekend, 2001. Taken over the box office, and you know how plugged in Osama bin Laden was on the internet. <laughs> I think he saw the trailer or some murmurings of this, and it was like picked up the phones, like yeah, 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 send the planes. Yeah, it's Here, happening. We got to, yeah, we got to finish these people. They, they off. have talking dogs. We cannot. <laughs> absolutely not. No, 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 no. We must not. That's really irresponsible. I don't think this movie caused 9/11, but it certainly didn't help. It, no, it, it doesn't was, help. I, I genuinely think this and Charlie's Angels, like those <laughs> yeah, are direct, true. Uh, direct causes of what happened on. <laughs> On September 11th. That's right. <laughs> it seems like it fits together. This fucking movie made two hundred million dollars internationally. It sure did. <sighs> and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it is. I think part of it, a large part of it, just goes to show you how little parents want to spend time talking to their kids. Mm. Oh yeah. Because we will get them in this fucking theater. We will get them in for the air conditioning. They will sit there. They'll shut the fuck up and I don't have to deal with them <laughs> and watch cats and dogs for 86 grueling minutes. <laughs> I do, I mean, you. this should tell you where fucking Tobey Maguire's career was before Spider-Man came fucking swinging in to oh, his yeah. life. I mean, this that well, he is voicing this dog. Oh wow, this is before Spider-Man. I didn't even it's put the, right the, before. Right it. before. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, well, that's the weirdest part about this, the, the Tobey Maguire thing in this and also in Spider-Man is it's this uh, G. Willikers, oh, I shucks, I'm a cute little <laughs> doll, man. But he, meanwhile, I was like, come on, Leo, let's fucking do coke off of us. Get yeah, yeah. the tits. Come on, Leo, you fucking killed that girl, man. <laughs> oh, oh, those little critters, critters that were the uh, pussy posse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all eating at Dom's Plum and whatnot. Yes, yeah, so and in this movie, we've got a different pussy posse. They're cats. They're cats. They're, cats. <laughs> they're evil. Like, they're, they're like expressly evil. We were talking the other day. Of movies that cannot be made today, I yeah. genuinely do not think a movie like this could be made because cats are so explicitly evil and the worst of the two animals. You're right. Well, yeah. well, this because is, because this the dog aganda is what it yes, is. Thank it is. you. <laughs> the the, the pro-cat documentary Keddy has come out yes. now. Mm. Also, uh, all beautiful memes, movie. the internet it loves cats. And now, oh, yeah. Yeah. In 2001, the internet was there, but folks at home, if you're too young, uh -huh. you don't know. No, you, you, no one gave a fuck about the internet in 2001. Right. If anything, if you were on the internet, you'd hide that. Well, you oh, were yeah, doing yeah. you were doing because a couple they, of things on the internet in 2001. Yeah, beaten off, beaten off. You're, yeah, you're looking at oh, slow yeah. to download pornography oh, yeah, and dude. like really glitchy fucking real player porno videos. Definitely oh, yes. stealing Metallica albums only. That's Absolutely right. only Metallica albums. Really stick it to that fucking mm -hmm. drummer. Uh, you were still probably in chat rooms lamenting the end of the X Files. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, Long uh, gunman didn't get their shot. <laughs> or you were fucking, you know, going into websites like moviepoopshoot.com and the like, and fucking bitching about casting notices and all that stuff. And that was uh, yep. it. Oh yeah, this was the age of the message board. If mm, you were yep. in on the internet. You were into message boards, and I'm sorry, I cannot help you. <laughs> that shit <laughs> yeah. is fucking disgusting. I can't deal with that. But you want know, to say something nice about this feature mm. before we start sure. really digging into it? Because I really, really detested it. Something nice about this movie? Yeah. The CGI, I think, is better than all the Star Wars prequels put together. <laughs> I honestly think it looks better Do than those movies. Those mouths look disgusting. Though. The mouths when are the bad. cat sure, sure. starts talking, the little Mr. Tinkles, it is like Jabba the Hutt's asshole. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> I see where the connection is, though, because I will say 
I kind of like the puppets. The yes. puppets are pretty well done. Because here's the thing. You have the one the cat, mix. Mr. Tinkles, who's doing... A, 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 that poor bastard is like 90% puppet. Yes. But we are throwing this Tobey Maguire dog around a lot. And it's a lot of just like a stuffed animal get thrown against the wall. And fuck, that's funny. I, I, this is another reason that 9-11 had to happen is because... <laughs> Sean Hayes' career was in ascension at the time. Mm -hmm. He was going to be a star, and things had to fucking be derailed because I couldn't say... It's tough enough now in this movie where I'm not seeing him. I'm just listening to him. But, man, that man grates me. Yeah, he's not great. And, I mean, he's still... I was looking today. It's still on IMDb that there will be a sequel to that Three Stooges movie. I don't know. It better not. I I don't know. (laughs) Am I the only person on the planet that didn't hate that Three Stooges movie? I mean, I never saw it. I I I mean, I don't think I hated it either either but i just forgot it immediately yeah i saw I it but i don't know what i thought about it yeah, it's, yeah. i mean i remember what did he least, play larry he played larry yes and it, i remembered it being a very weird like oh this looks and sounds exactly like a three stooges thing and they very much had a three stooges plot and it was it was all done totally seriously as a three stooges movie and it wasn't particularly winky or anything like that you got larry david playing a nun at yes. one point you know maybe i should go back i don't know yeah i don't is. know I sean hayes, crazy sean hayes is like a really amazing vegan restaurant yes is it is it fantastic is it really talented i just don't want anything to do with it <laughs> <laughs> just, i'll be over here again yes i felt oh, very very talented i, I, love, I don't I want that to let go exactly but I, yes. he just does not do it for me at all exactly me either the the thing with the cgi though kind of totally overused because this opening shot you've got this uh little paper boy this fucking little pitch perfect picket fence neighborhood Oof. this little paper boy hunter mm. throw these hunter papers. biden that's right <laughs> oh look laptops. at this little kid's laptop some videos huh yeah He's... throwing dong down the fucking hallway dude <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that i mean you see those stories come out and every all these conservative media gets all angry and i'm like seems pretty cool to me <laughs> son He's got Son, could you stop sucking on your mother's toes like that? <laughs> if my father was the president, I'd be on drugs constantly and yep. my dick would be out in perpetuity. I don't even know what you're talking about. What is he up to now? The, the, oh, the pictures he, that leaked. He was like sucking on toes. and Okay. And, yeah. yeah. I'm saying it's pretty cool. So pretty what? cool. Yeah. Like yeah. we're saying it's cool. Oh, I see. No, I just don't understand what their problem is. We're on Hunter's Oh, side. no. This was a huge. I mean, there was a huge deal for the right wing as well. But like, yeah. no, we're saying it's cool. We yeah, love Hunter. We like him. Yeah. The, uh, is Hunter Biden's favorite Tenacious D lyric probably is... Uh, <laughs> We don't mind sucking our toes. <laughs> yes, very, very much. Honestly, open chair whenever you want it, Hunter. Oh, come on, any come day. On down. Also, <laughs> Hunter Fieri. Welcome Ooh, to the show. Come on down. No, dude, fuck that kid. <laughs> I know this nepotism up the fucking wazoo. No, there. what? There's a fucking Flavor Town Junior. You there don't know a, what the oh, Flavor Town Junior oh, is. Yeah. Guys, I pay attention to so little about shit I don't care okay, about. Okay, so Guy Fieri met a lady. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Start at the beginning, Eric. They, Ooh, they kissed. They had sex like cats and dogs. They fell in love. <laughs> they the- spewed, and then Hunter came out. Hunter Fieri. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And, and he's just, lanky and weird, and he's on grocery games and other things. Just kind of around. We were watching. I, there was a, some one of the many food competition shows. It was like, oh, the big chef competition or whatever the hell they call it, it was like a tournament of champions or whatever. Uh-huh. And like, I'm Hunter Fieri. I'm going to interview you. And I'm like, dude, get off my television. Oh, he's, he's, no. he's uniquely terrible, but open seats. Open seat. <laughs> Does he look like Guy Fieri? No, no. he's actually he's, he's obviously one of those like. My dad's famous for being fat, so I'll yeah. never be fat kind of oh, guy. I see. What's the sunglasses on top of the head situation? No, 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 no. He's just, oh, he's just like a normal person. If only oh, my father was famous. <laughs> exactly. be fucking famous. Hey, Hunter, you're technically in SAG now. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, I think what I was saying with the, the paper, paper boy, boy about boy. all sure. this fucking ridiculous yes. Hunter Biden's dick shit <laughs> is he throws a, the newspaper toward the house of our protagonist family and for no reason other than, like, I guess to get it through the slats of the picket fence, it's a CGI newspaper. And yeah. I was like, you know what? Why don't you just throw a fucking newspaper and get on with the movie? The, the other thing about this movie is the immaculate. And I mean, this is a very early aughts thing. Again, pre 9-11, but even more so after 9-11, this like, let's fucking jerk off for America that never existed kind of a thing. Like, oh, this sure, movie sure. is so specifically like, 
mom and dad and 1.3 kids, G. Willikers, oh, 1950s. Sure. Like, there's yeah. a housewife baking a pie in like three oh, yeah. minutes. Yep, and I'm like, absolutely. that hasn't happened in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of a weird netherworld, like this and like Cat in the Hat does yes. that too. Yeah, Dr. It's, it's all that shit that you guys mentioned. And also, let's not forget, nary a person of color to be. Ex- exactly. Because they're describing the perfect state to grow up as a child. Yes. You have your mother, your father, no minorities. <laughs> yes. All the it's co- insane. All the color saturation is way overdone. And of course, it always involves Alec Baldwin. It, you're every right. Every time. <laughs> every goddamn time. There's a direct line between this and Cat in the Hat as well. Yes. And there's a direct line between this and the boss baby. Like they're very, very yes. this is a very boss similar, baby. like yes, definitely. Everything you don't understand about dogs, babies, or lizards. Like there's oh, when you <laughs> when your lizard goes away, you gotta see what's going on in that terrarium. Well, wait a second, does Alec Baldwin narrate Rango? <laughs> no, he could. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like I get babies, dogs, and cats. Like I understand. Yeah. That Alec Baldwin, I mean, he is a master of caring for people, as <laughs> as his history as a parent has 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 proven. Dude, he's yelling at like because he voices one of the dogs, right? Like the fucking old gruff dog, and he's yelling at this Tobey Maguire dog. And I was like, call him a pig, <laughs> call this little dog a pig, please do it. Oh, please do it. Okay, take it again. You called the dog a pig. Uh, <laughs> could you? Could you? We gotta go you're again. A, you're an inconsiderate little pig, you dog. It's it's, you're it's a, a, you and your mother. You it's a mother. It's a puppy. It's a puppy, not a pig. Stop calling it a hog. Do you think Tom Six has seen this movie? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Underrated. Oh, that's a that's incredible opinion, uh, Tom. <laughs> Thank you for being so nice about my film, yeah. Cats and Dogs. Yeah, yeah. Your vocal performance was one for the ages. <laughs> I would like you to do the voice of the crumbling towers in the Onalia Club. <laughs> there, there's no way Jet Fuel did this. It must have been a t- type of controlled explosion. Oh, no, Tom, is that what you wanted? <laughs> That's perfect, Alex. <laughs> this will certainly get me sent to prison now. But, you know, it's a big, a dog is fighting, wrestling a cat for this newspaper. The newspaper sort of yes. sets off the event. And we're doing like really cartoony stuff, even so much so the, the dog runs up against uh a, a, a tree and then he goes I, 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 I. like you know we're doing like yep. that like mm-hmm. it's yeah. that kind of cartoonish reality I guess it lets you know right away what kind of a movie you're dealing yes. with here because yeah it is this it's a big old hound dog buddy and he runs after this cat and yeah there's a lot of there's a it's a lot of Looney Tunes yes. physics oh like, yeah he's pulling the tree down and then he lets it go and the cat goes flying like mm-hmm. a you know a uh, slingshot or whatever. And this dog gets uh, uh, taken in a van that has license plate that I imagine, Steve, you have. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cats rule with oh, a yeah. Z. Well, Cap- if Steve had a driver's license and then owned a car. <laughs> then, <laughs> sure, I guess I'm making a lot it of assumptions. A few more hurdles here. to overcome for <laughs> exactly, that Exactly, before I can get a vanity plate. Look, I'm optimistic about his future, okay? It's just, but the dog agenda will not stand. And Eric will yes. back <laughs> yeah. me up on this because the cats are just the unequivocal villains like it's you know what an alien versus predator everybody was on even even footing a little sure, bit you know true. what i mean like yeah, the, sure. the, al- the, so the, the aliens the, the cat and <laughs> uh, the predators the dog and the predator winds up being a little bit more heroic than the alien but fans of the alien franchise are like well at least everybody's kind of fighting each other you well know? Yeah. That's true. I, I, see i think the move should have been freddie versus jason same situation well yeah. absolutely with this though you could have had a thing where it's like there's some dogs mm-hmm. that are actually siding with the cats mm. right oh. and, but then there's like some cat revolutionaries who are like the guys at the top meow yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know we want to fucking help these dogs out so then it's like balance it out a little bit yeah. i will admit up front of course as many people know i am a dog person i'm not a cat person only because i am horrendously allergic to them yeah. and i feel like if i wasn't i'd be totally fine with them you need jeff goldblum to fucking fix that shit right up for you but- dude and the fact that this is such a major plot point <laughs> of this movie yeah. is jeff goldblum a live action jeff goldblum mind you Yikes. married to a really put upon and very patient elizabeth perkins Working on a cure for dog allergies. Ugh. He's got a uh, uh, cocaine facial hair. Dude. Has not transitioned well, into weed like- and and it's like a 
psychedelics it's quite like yet. It's like Smash Mouth is popular. Yeah, yeah. Facial hair. Well, he's a, got long sideburns yes. and he's got the chin thing. Soul Dude, patch. he looks like he should be fucking singing in the Deftones with this. Yes. It's <laughs> that. It's also like the first guy to the orgy that brings the food. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the food. He is so early. He's just like, uh, uh, oh, uh, I brought some snacks for anybody that's a little hungry either before or after. When someone inevitably gets pregnant from the orgy, well, life <laughs> finds a way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, that is right. Man. But, you know, the society, the pop culture, I guess, not society so much, pop culture always saying dogs versus cats. Mm-hmm. Yes. I grew up with a dog and a cat. And it was fucking fine. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. <laughs> what is this shit? Oh, well, I don't know where ditto, it started. Yes. I mean, is it Looney Tunes? Did Looney Tunes start? Probably. Yes. Tom and Jerry. That Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Jerry. That was the yeah. original sin. But the was depression Tom, cats and mouse. Was Tom and, and Jerry, that. though, was that whole show based off of, like, some old fucking Grampy was like, you know, cats and dogs don't get along so well. <laughs> it's probably like, oh, this is the food chain. You have a mouse. You can eat that first, then cat and dog last. <laughs> but that, I think like, and I think they watch Tom and Jerry in this or something like it, because the thing with it is that the dogs were above them all. Like they very exactly, rarely yes. came in. They yeah. were they weren't involved with it. They were the higher class. They're watching a Looney Tunes cartoon and it was kind of bumming me out because like I could because again, this movie is like aping some of those physics, the noises, and like, yeah, but just none of the style or actual like oh. grace. And I'm like, and, or kind of wish I was just watching. Kind of wish I was watching Looney Tunes that actually laugh. Yeah, you know? I mean, yeah. nine nine years earlier, we had just had the Tom and Jerry movie, which is insane, and we will deal with it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There was a Tom and Jerry movie. Oh, yeah. before the Colin Jost one. Oh, but yes. Oh yeah, much. much. And if one? I recall, because I haven't seen it, but the only thing I remember about that movie, your father made a horrible scene at the theater. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He <laughs> what, freaked no, out. what did he do? <laughs> he I was doing some Hunter Biden stuff. Or? <laughs> well, no, no. He would be the Joe Biden. I would be the Hunter. Biden. <laughs> okay. So you okay? So he was getting you popcorn, and you had your pants on. I, I was, yes, and I was doing coke in on the bed with a lady of the night. Wow, um, what a great theater! No, my Forty da- Second Street, uh, yeah, <laughs> Albany, New York. Uh, uh, my dad, we went. I think for like my birthday or something. Like uh-huh. you, you found out you could rent out a theater, but you could only rent out like a specific titles. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so one of we were just like, we'll, we'll watch Tom and Jerry. I would like to see Tom and Jerry movie. Sure. And it, we all sit down. It's like seven of my friends. Mm-hmm. And we sit down. It starts, and it's, like, out of focus. And my dad, Uh-oh. you know, does the normal, like, focus. Uh-huh. And, like, does that, and, like, does that, like, three times. Waits for maybe five minutes. Storms, like, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. right up. Nice. Gets out and is, like, banging on <laughs> what he thinks is the door to the, the, booth? the, the booth. Oh, really? But it's definitely, like, where you would, like, put, the like. Janitor's po- Yeah, yeah, janitor's closet. <laughs> what theater was this? This was. Uh, it was it was Latham Circle. Was it at our place? It was Latham Circle. Yeah. Oh, we, so yeah, he's just banging out of fucking closet. Yeah, door. yeah. And, and it was, it, but and finally somebody Incredible. noticed, and they're like, "Oh, I, you could have just talked to the person." <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so they tried to talk him down a little yeah, bit, yeah. like you could have done this better, <laughs> yeah. sir, instead of slamming on a door. <laughs> sir, sir, put, I, put the knife down, sir. <laughs> I believe, Tom and Jerry's out of fucking focus, man. I believe that was all. Uh, all the calming down. He did take it, turned around, and said, fuck you. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. Listen, guys, I got a room full of fat kids who want to watch Tom and Jerry, and that shit is out of fucking focus. Those kids love focus. <laughs> Look, Tops, three kids there were fat, including myself. I don't want to put that evil on my other friends. Uh, well, they're fat now. Well, yeah, maybe they are. <laughs> is that... <laughs> It might be. You're might you might be right on fat, that. Eric. Fat finds a way, man. Yeah, so it does, dude. Fat after forty. That's how that shit works. <laughs> yeah. Did the movie turned out to be good. Because that yep, Colin Jost movie is fucking terrible. Oh yeah, that thing is. I mean, it's definitely better than that because it's all like actual two D animation. Oh, yeah. Cats and dogs is better than that. It is. I would actually. Say I don't know. I don't know, dude. I've not seen it, but I can't. I. Well, I, I, you I have do difficulty. It no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I, I, I have difficulty imagining anything better than the film Cats. Well, and dogs. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. It, the reason why it's better is Cats and Dogs Worse, does sorry. not waste uh, a performance from Lil Rel Howery, which okay. is what sure. yeah. the Tom and Jerry movie does. And it doesn't pay Colin Jost, which is That's, yeah, also that's true. In this film, down. Cats and Dogs 2001, Colin Jost did not make a fucking penny from it. Oh, <laughs> Jeff awesome. Goldblum and Elizabeth Perkins and uh, Miriam Margolis, like, that's, that's fine. Hey, wow, that- you got a nice... 
paycheck there, Colin, from a movie. We're going to put this right on the fridge. That's amazing, but wow, dude. That's a that's a lot of zeros. Oh, no. We don't need to cash it. Sweetheart, why would you cash it? Then it's not as much of a collectibles item. It was just, it was just streaming, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, wow, you made so much money on that. Yeah, we'll watch it tomorrow. Oh, no, I got... Sorry, I got a Marvel oh. phone call tomorrow. Are you gonna Apologies. Be, are you going to be in another movie with these movies? Oh, I'm going to be in like five oh, more. Honey, there's no there's no universe getting created with that? That's a shame. That's unfortunate. You know, it's difficult for me because I try to balance art films like Marriage Story, which is nominated for Oscars, with enormous blockbusters like The Black Widow or Avengers. <laughs> but you're just... You're just doing so good on Saturdays Night Lives and, <laughs> and that that Tom's and Joe. Oh, man. I can't tell jokes like you, sweetheart. <laughs> she hey. probably thinks he reads the actual news <laughs> on TV. He's a, my husband's a journalist. Well, I never laughed once. I just thought it was the news. No, Saturday Night Live is, MS, is on MSNBC. <laughs> Wait, it's not? Oh, all right. Uh, listen, honey, we're going to put your, your check right up on the fridge until we get our frame guy to come in and frame it. But until then, is the laundry done? <laughs> I, I, I got you a gold sticker. Can I get a weekend update on dinner? <laughs> oh, there it is. That's the one. But honestly, that is the one. Folks, if you watch Tom and Jerry, Meg, my God, his his attempts at acting. Mm, it's really bad shit. Holy Toledo. Worse, than, assume, worse than Fallon back in the day out of Cure? Oh, ta- 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 oh, yeah, ta- yeah, worse. Yes, yes, wow, that's definitely that's worse. A hundred say, times worse. This dude, you know, he's got to be good at something. Knocking up Scar Joe, he succeeded sure. there, uh-huh. but like boy, oh boy, acting in a fucking movie, absolutely he's, he's not. Absolutely uh. fantastic at getting money. He <laughs> absolutely true. blows the competition away uh, at receiving money. I, cats and dogs. Sure. There it okay, is. Oh, the, can, can I put, uh, put something out here? Sure. Big fucking surprise of the century yep. for this sure. movie. Uh, the boss of it all, the Mastiff, voiced by soon to be dead <laughs> Charlton Heston. Honestly, great. And I mean, if, and this is yeah. this is fucking talking shit at Columbine, Charlton Heston. This yeah, is not yeah. like yep. back in like, this. Everything was out about Charlton Heston. Yeah, you oh, put yeah. him in this movie. Absolutely. Well, you know, he'd already fucking been a been a ape the year before, <laughs> right? Yeah. Am I remembering that correctly? Yes, but absolutely. don't worry, he's in the movie for like 60 seconds for uh, uh, at least True. The, from my the cold dead paws. <laughs> that doing anything for anybody? <laughs> okay, I was right. The fucking, the, do you know the people who uh, wrote this are the, they did uh, Jungle Cruise and uh, I Love You, Christopher Morris, Bad Santa. Wow. Like, wow. This is the big yeah. Philip Morris. Is yeah, I love you, Philip Morris. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. A, uh, a bad, bad list. There, Bad Santa is the best one out of them. Bad Santa and Bad News, the Bad News Bear remake, which I do like. Oh, that yeah. movie's fucking funny. Yeah. It's really, I, and I like Bad Santa too. Yeah, yeah, Bad Santa's good too. I remember being pissed off about Bad Santa because he's not like actually murdered at the end of that movie. <laughs> yeah. They like play with that for. Does he like get shot in the uh, back? Or yeah, he does yeah, get shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I and got, I was like, cool, kill him. That'd be awesome. I recently saw it Blind Drunk on a Christmas, and it was a good time. Yeah, there you go. It's <laughs> a funny little movie. Uh, so yeah, so Charlton Heston is kind of doing this, like you know. There's a team of dog agents that are going. So, like this, we didn't say this. This dog, this this hound dog, yes, uh, gets gets kidnapped, gets renditioned by a bunch of cats. They, they it's say, cats they call, listening to Tom Petty, by the way. They no. call it catnapped, <laughs> um, sure for, they which do. is funny because we just recorded an episode on baby napped, our lifetime uh, our episodes that come out on Patreon, and that that brings up a question. This was fucking nagging me all day watching this fucking movie. Was <laughs> your fingers pointing a lot at you? <laughs> At you. I don't know why. Um, oh, you're getting fingered, dude. Because you brought out. up baby napped. <laughs> oh, yeah. And baby napped. It's not the baby who's doing the kidnapping. In <laughs> yes, that. the, the cat true. is doing the kidnapping. This is so dog napped. This is dog napped. Dog napped, not cat napped. You're right. That's That's terrible right. writing. That's right. <laughs> yeah, the, the kid doesn't do the napping. Just the kid the de- is napped. Yeah, come oh, on. That's true. Get the details, buddy. Mm-hmm. Now, but, if a, but if a kid would nap a kid... <laughs> Then that would be a, a kidnapping. A yeah. kid kidnap. <laughs> kidnapping squared. <laughs> so is it? Is that a thing? Napping someone? I, I mean, it oh, has yeah. to be because I mean, I think because we napped like, away as, as a society, we progress to say we're not going to say someone gets shanged hide. Yeah. Well, no, but like, <laughs> good that we did. That's but, when you got no, hit. Like, you got hit like, in the head nap, on a boat. And but what, instead of napping, yeah, yeah. What is it, nabbing? Right? Because yes, I'm going to yeah. nab yeah. that. So kidnapping. That should have. That should have been what it was. Maybe nabbing comes. I. I don't know. 
Th- I think that's <laughs> this is why Liam Neeson was saying taken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just easier. It's just easier too to confusing. Do. Uh, that's true. Well, didn't you're, Taylor you're, Lautner have that movie kidnapped? Yes, abducted. Uh, abducted. Uh, abducted. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. A, or, or a cat abduction or a dog. Well, that'd be a dog. Well, no, abduction. Listen, the cat, the abduction. Cats do, that's the, aliens. Abduction. The, the, <laughs> the dog does get abducted, and yes. so yeah, like he's like, we need to get another agent in there, which yes. is. I love like, that they burn this dog immediately. Yeah, he could die. That, that uh, what is going on with that? Because we get a file photo later Bullshit. in the movie of this dog. On vacation, that dog has been murdered yeah. by these yeah, cats. Yeah, yeah, I yep. think it's gone. Because they're like, oh, he's been abducted, and but no, now he's retired to Boca Raton. Like, that's it's the old joke that you would tell your kid, like, yep. oh yeah, he's at a farm upstate somewhere. Exactly. No, that dog that's, has his fucking ooh. throat slit, and these totally. cats pissed in the wound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's hanging out with uh, Morty Seinfeld at this point. <laughs> Absolutely, dude, six feet under. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so this thing gets kidnapped. So yeah, Charlton Essen is like, we're sending another team in, and one of them is going to be a sleeper agent. And we cut to like a fucking what is it, a barn or something? It's a barn. Enter Toby Maguire. Hold on. What are what are you doing? Happening here. That is from Don's Plum. Remember when he's screaming? Oh Oh, man! No, play it again. Here it comes. He's saying what's up to wow. people. Oh, okay. that's what it is. What's up? Well, He's communicating. At, at home should know that Don's Plum was a movie that features a lot of the pussy posse in it, which was Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Toby Toby McGuire, McGuire, David Lucas Blaine, Oz. Conroy. Right. And we, we did an episode on this film, which is sort of rare, but I think it's on YouTube. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, we did a side order of sleaze on our Patreon. It. Yeah. yeah. But it's, I mean, like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's. That's who Tobey Maguire is. Yeah. Not this like I'm a little sweet little I, dog yeah. person. Has, has exactly. I seen the fucking ice storm? Yeah, like, exactly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's, That's when he's dude. like balancing whether or not he's going to like do something to uh, Kate Hudson when she passed out. That's- oh. Fuck. That yeah, sounds more right. like the man's speed is all yeah, I'm going to say. That's yeah, a Don's right. Plum fella. Yeah, that's that's a dude who's getting a side of fries at 3 a.m. at Don's Plum. Don't I, worry. I, I mean, I prefer Wonder Boys where they're fixing to pass him around the room. Well, yeah. <laughs> But him and Robert Downey Jr. Are, Get it on. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, That's a, a good great movie. movie. Great yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, Pete Curtis Hanson. Uh, uh, he's talking about he, he has dreams beyond the barn, and he wants to see the world, et cetera. And he tries to do a, a, a what do you call that there, a, a catapult, and he just, this dog just... This dog eats shit for five seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of fun. Does. It's like he's, he's a try- beagle. We should a, a, a puppy, a beagle totally puppy, adorable beagle puppy. Uh-huh. He tries to yeah s- s- uh, launch himself out the barn window, miscalculates, face plants right into like below the window frame. And this is what I'm talking about. There is a lot of hilarious both CGI and puppet animal violence, sure, like yeah. comedy pratfall kind of shit. <laughs> so like that dog eating shit at that window sill was pretty great. And then it's like, uh oh. Uh, Because I guess what you're to believe is that dogs all over the world are in on this network of whatever because they sort of like cut a hole in the barn floor and then it's like there's one dog who's like it like replacing the beagle puppies with these like Doberman puppies because the Doberman puppies are the trained dog agents Uh and these these beagles are just like hapless farm dogs. And the main Doberman is a guy doing an Arlie Ermery impression. It It wasn't him. I was looking. I thought it was going to be him. How Uh, do you not get Arlie Ermey to do do your little I would have done your dog movie. (laughs) He should have sued. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to get into it, but there's a lot of people who are doing voices they probably shouldn't be doing. Oh, yeah. In this uh in this here movie. Billy West. Billy for West sure. is having a lot of fun oh. <laughs> with the ninja cats. Yeah. Those oh, are bad. He's oh, taking Billy. it for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, they get replaced and Elizabeth Perkins comes to get one. She's like, "Oh, you have all these beagle puppies and they're all Dobermans." And the guys like, "Oh, they must have changed colors." Like it's a different fucking dog. It, it looks on. completely fucking different, you idiot. What are you doing here? <laughs> what, did they, what are they doing my dog? <laughs> what happened to my dog? That's what it should have been, oh. dude. And also, like, it doesn't appear as if he's charging Elizabeth Perkins yes. anything for this dog, so no, it's no, not no. like you're and losing money. Find out what happened. The family also didn't give a fuck when their dog disappeared. <laughs> no, no, they don't. No, they don't care she's, at all. She's just out. We learn, so, like, the next scene, she takes, Lou comes out from under a pile of hay, and she's like, oh, here's the only beagle. I'll take this one, and leaves. 
brings it home to the kid and she says like, oh, well, you know, honey, Buddy's been missing for like a month. So here's another dog, a dog that they do not make any effort whatsoever to fucking train. Nope. House nope. break. No. Nothing. No. And then when this dog is like being framed for like getting in the garbage and this, that, and the other thing, shitting on the floor, he's framed for that. And they're just like, oh, my God, bad dog. And yes. I'm like. Nowhere in this movie are you trying to train this dog? So of course it's gonna take a shit on the floor. I'm not even seeing a walk. No, nope. yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not even seeing a fucking this, walk. They're here. leaving this dog outside overnight, unleashed. Because because fuck the you. dog is not for that. Like yeah, they don't it's, care. It's, it's for work. science. Yeah, it's exactly. Work. It's like. Dad needs a dog around the house to yep. experiment on. I, I do think that honestly, this is a Beethoven scenario. This dog's gonna be fucking just shot dead in the, behind an Italian <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever they're done with, uh, oh, uh, uh, honey, get my gun. Uh, oh, we're just gonna test a little anthrax on you here, buddy. Here we go. I uh, now it's time for the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Perkett, like the the kid is like. We're forgetting Buddy already. Yeah, like he's yeah. only been gone for a little bit, and she's like, "Shut your fucking mouth." <laughs> so your father a, needs a new dog. Realistically, maybe you wait a little longer than a month before yes. replacing a pet. Big time. But your father needs to fucking pour chemicals on it or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and also like <laughs> lean into that. Like I know Buddy's gone. I know it's gonna be difficult for you, but your dad does need a dog. So we're just now. Here's Buddy. Uh -huh. Here's this little Lou. I, and we're, we're not, we're not calling it loser. Yes. A, Ugh. B, just we're not calling it right, loser. Right, because she offers the, the kid the, chan the disgusting shit boy, by the way. Oh, boy. Oh, to beat oh, the band. All time in the fucking Woo! Hall of Fame, dude. Awful. Zero <laughs> redeeming factors. I hope he's not doing well today. <laughs> I believe he, I, I looked it up. He's a realtor. So there you go. Oh, I yeah. hope he's making very low uh, brokerage <laughs> fees. You know what? If, once you get out of Hollywood, you're fine. I, I hope he's doing just okay. I, I don't yeah, know. I'm not trying to sell houses. It's okay. <laughs> Look, realtors tend to be into Bitcoin, so he's probably having a bad time. Yeah, he's having a terrible time, and he's even worse in this movie. It's, Ooh, it's, it's a... It's a rough look on this kid. It's it sucks. A Top floppy to blonde hair. And I mean, like, where did this little Aryan kid come from? Jeff fucking Goldblum's <laughs> cock. That makes yep. no sense whatsoever. Yeah, where's the fucking mailman, dude? Hell Hugh yeah, Grant, dude. the fucking mailman. That's where this <laughs> came from. Oh, uh, oh, special delivery. <laughs> Well, or if he's like, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, that's your son from uh, uh, another marriage. I don't give a uh, shit. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Uh, I don't give a shit about your son. I don't give a shit that, about your now, son. Now, this would make sense because yes. he's completely disconnected from the family, Jeff Goldblum. He doesn't yep. want anything to do with anyone. He's always tinkering in the basement, which is a full-blown laboratory, which is pretty uh, cool. I would now, love one of these. I've I'm, I'm not going to call it football, okay? I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's fucking soccer. Shut up. It's, uh, it's fucking soccer. Uh, 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 shut up. <laughs> I think the one thing that I will say about the Goldblum character, I appreciate that this is a guy with a focused mission. Yep. He yes. wants to create a cure for dog allergies. It's not what I despise in characters. He's just a hapless inventor. Yes. And this yeah, is yeah. my latest fucking thing. Gremlins it, disease. Yeah, Gremlins. <laughs> Carrot top. Absolutely. Uh, you're, you're Mr. Zelinsky from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Absolutely fuck that guy. And that's the thing, too, though. And I think that's why Goldblum is such an odd choice for this movie for a trillion reasons. Yeah. And clearly the, there was a, either a Coke problem or a gambling debt. I don't know what the <laughs> deal was. I uh, 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 love the horses. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy because what is uh, it? The Celtics didn't cover. I guess I have to be in, uh, <laughs> mm, uh, cats and dogs. <laughs> it's only a few years after Jurassic Park exactly. 2. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I want. I wanted to pull up just to see, and you know, we can just keep going. But I mean, but like, I want to see what's going on. With it's you. like, yeah, 97 this, to 2001. You want a Rick Moranis type who's like warm and goofy and like, because like, you know, Jeff Colton A could do comedy, B has played a shit ton of scientists. She is wasted in this well, movie. Look, yes. But isn't it nice to know that this, this charming husband scientist also clearly fucks. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it nice to know that he probably fucks all the time? But does he? Because this kid ain't his, dude. Well, that's the <laughs> yeah, thing. He doesn't, like, he, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he fucks the dog, man. The wardrobe <laughs> and the fucking hair mm. makes me think he fucks. Con Ooh, and the uh, glasses. Uh, yeah, sure. Like this goatee. Uh, mm, ha. Why did you sit on it? Mm, ha, oh, ha. He's probably going out at night, going to Smash Mouth and Deftones <laughs> concerts. Yeah. And, I mean, so picking, up, got... picking up some strange at a Deftones <laughs> concert. <laughs> that's right. You, uh, oh, uh, I'll be at your white pony. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh, I just uh, fucked the regional manager of a uh, coconuts video. Yeah, nice. Ooh, <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, it was great because she uh, let me uh, uh, get to the Ticketmaster counter before they uh, opened. <laughs> there's, uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of room in the back of this sunset video. <laughs> 
So he was in another movie in 2001 called Perfume. Oh, that's uh, that weird movie with uh, what do you call it? There is it Ben Wishaw on that? No, you're that's that's, that's, that's perfume later. colon yeah. a something else. Okay, this, this is just right. perfume. This is it's absolutely nothing. Got it. Uh, his two thousand, literally three things I've never heard of. Uh, a movie one of one of the Hollywood Ten. No. Another movie called Chain of Fools. No, and then a third motion picture called Augie Rose. Nope, does none of those exist? Well, I guess he was in an indie period because isn't Iggy goes down somewhere around here? Maybe that's like two thousand four or something. That's like two thousand one. I think Ig- that's this. No, year. Igby hits in 02. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, this is like is indie, but I guess it's like uh, if I'm gonna do that, uh, mm, uh, Kieran Culkin movie, I better make some money doing a uh, dog oh, shit. And I think it, well, because because so you had two. Where are we? So 2000, yeah, 2001 was this. And then, yeah, like his 99, he played himself on an episode of Dr. Katz. 98, he did a voice in Prince of Egypt. Was uh, it, Holy Man, terrible Was movie. the fallout from Lost World that bad that he was like I mean, the movie made cast money. out? Yeah. Like, that's the thing is it did make money, but like, what else would cause this? They just <laughs> <it> cause this. <laughs> You're right. They just didn't know what to do with him, I yes. think, right? Because it's... Uh, it's Jeff Goldblum. He's been in things for years. I just, remember, I just don't Chris, understand that it. In 2001, you know, people sure. were saying like Seinfeld was too New York, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I think you're totally right, too. Yeah, because like again, like look at this movie, and he's he's basically playing a white guy in this movie, and it's I mean that's in the you know he's just playing like, like, like an Aryan dude basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I, well, I, well, now I, I hate his performance twice. This is all wrong. <laughs> well, it's interesting because he doesn't really kind of come back to any sort of prominence until '04 with Steve Zissou. Yeah, that makes sense. And then it kind of, I, I kind of, yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember watching that movie, and being like, oh yeah, Jeff Goldblum, because it had, it had been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I certainly did not see Cats and Dogs until somebody <laughs> forced me to I, last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whose pick was this? Was it Chris? I don't Hello. Know. Hello. Oh, <laughs> boy. So whatever. Uh, he's like an absent, mas- yeah, absent-minded dad. He's working on his formula. The kid hates the dog. He wants to call him loser. They shorted to Lou. I would like my eyebrow would go up a little bit if I'm the mom. Oh, yeah. I'm like, call the dog loser. And I'm like, Are you a little Ted Bundy? Like, We're having a yeah, talk. Totally. Yeah. We're having Absolutely. a talk. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna have a talk. Why would you, you call the dog loser? Hit this fucking dog in the head with a shovel or <laughs> exactly <laughs> this dog this dog if this also this dog also goes missing we're gonna have a real fucking conversation yeah. absolutely well, little, little bundy doesn't fully start decaying so he can get jeff goblin can be allergic to <laughs> oh, the fur that's really true. all he needs is the fur of these things right <sighs> I why guess... is the dog's head in the freezer <laughs> <laughs> oh god what really your dad about, needed this dog it's about as pissed off as she gets in this movie and <laughs> frankly she should be much more angry at all. Poor times. Elizabeth Perkins, man. She's yes. really put upon. I mean, like she, because I remember when that when when that Flintstones movie came out, yep. previous episode, it was like, and Elizabeth Perkins is Wilma. Like she was a name. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. and she's fucking hot, Wilma Flintstone in yeah. that movie. Absolutely, dude. And, and she was. I mean, she made her. Bo- I think like. She made a lot of money, I think, being on Weeds. She was on that whole oh, right. fucking okay. series. Yeah. Oh, from the getting to right. That's good. She's, she made plenty of money. I never saw a second of that show, but it's interesting because she looks like the woman who's the main actor. Yes. Mary Louise Parker. Yeah, I, I confused the two of them with, mm. uh, uh, funny enough, because we're talking about Jeff Goldblum here, I confused the two of them also with a third, uh, David Tellem from Independence Day. Oh, sure. yeah. those, those three women are one person to me. I, I can see that for sure. I mean, Elizabeth Perkins, it's easy to remember. She's the one who fucked the eleven-year-old and big. <laughs> oh, yes. right, God, that's, that's awesome. right. nice. That's right. sale. That's sale. But to be home. fair, at the time, it was a big eleven-year-old. It was a big eleven-year-old. It was an awfully it was a big eleven-year-old. Here's the thing: if, if an eleven-year-old shapeshifts into an adult, who am I to whatever? That's sure. True. I'm just saying, easy way to remember. I, you can't be. You can't go to jail for shapeshifters. I'm sorry. No, I'm and not genies. Not, not yet. You could. You know, we'll see. I'm not going to call up the federales on her. I'm just saying, <laughs> it happened, officer. There was a genie involved, and uh, let's just leave it at that, Listen, shall we? Yes, I'm, just... I'm a shapeshifter, Quark, but I'm also an 11 year old boy. <laughs> You can't have sex with me. In her perspective, she just had sex with like a like a thirty eight year old yeah, man, a toy came, genius, who came instantly and it was terrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> but he's so smart. How could he be so bad in bed? Well, it makes sense now that yeah. she knows he's fucking 11 years old. I mean, <laughs> I what the fuck? That's the thing. When she drops him off, and it's at, we'll do that movie at some point. Oh, of it's course. It's a sweet scene where like he turns and he's like, he's, he, she sees the kid in the big suit. Yep. You've just got to drive off a fucking cliff. You're, oh, you're, totally. She's in the car. She's like, well, that's yeah. the end of it's me. That- you're already out at the fucking boardwalk, lady. Get yeah. on the beach and walk into the <laughs> Dude, ocean. Dude, put it in reverse and run that kid over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. You might lips. tell somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> I will accept severe vomiting, but then you have to die after. And that. also, ma- wait, wait, the fuck? Magic exists? Like, no one ever does that. <laughs> yeah. Hold Dude, on. What the fuck? You found out not only does magic exist, but you also statutorily raped a kid. And <laughs> yep. you're like, <laughs> like there would have, she's got to be vomiting out the fucking window with that. Uh, but none of that happens. No, no, it doesn't. no, no. This is the magic of the movie. Here is that cats and dogs kind of like people, yeah. that's, and they have like spies and stuff. That's the thing. I mean, that's the Alec Baldwin uh, uh, saves this other dog from a bomb. He thinks he's he thinks Lou is an agent, but he's not, and he then has to tell him and the audience the whole story of. That cats used to rule the world in Egypt. Yeah. Ancient <sighs> Egypt. My fucking God with this story. No, you see, the people didn't do slavery. <laughs> the cats yep. did yep. the slavery. Oh, Dog yep. aganda, my friends. <laughs> yeah, so ancient Egypt was ruled by cats, and the pyramids were their litter boxes. Uh, oh. <laughs> Old shit, old shitty men don't fire people. Cats fire people, <laughs> as we will see later. Yes. Oh, then, sure, that's right. In ancient Egypt, they, you know, the dogs rose up, man's best friend, because yeah. the new man was being treated badly. So they chased all the cats out of Egypt until they fell into the mouths of alligators. And, and then you put this precious world in the hands of a species. That got conquered by fucking cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think you're pretty stupid. And also, at some point, I guess human beings just forgot that those cats were talking. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Well, were they ever privy to that? Do we know? Well, if they're ruling, if they're giving orders, they'd probably be like, yo, dude, go build me a pyramid. Yeah. Oh, I, guess I, I, I guess. Yeah. And we thought they were gods. But luckily, society crumbled. Uh, so we there's, of course, in a movie like this, we got a little team here. Of course. Uh, there's uh, uh, what, what do we peak. got? Joey Pants. That's peak as peak. And he's like the surveillance thing. This dog is the one that is a mostly a puppet throughout yes. this movie. Yes. It is mostly a puppet, and it's like, it's kind of like a salacious crumb puppet. It looks <laughs> disgusting. It does. It, but I will say, I think Joey Pants comes out uh, clean on the other side of this. You know why? Because he's doing the voice. Yeah. He's not, he's not, you would expect just Joey Pants is going to be like, oh, come out of my fucking dog already. Chase, give me a fucking bone. Yes. But no, he's just like, I don't know what's going on here, guys. And like he's he, got a—he's doing a voice, which is yeah. too bad because I miss him. Yeah, oh, it's a—it's a bummer. But I'll tell you what is weird though: when Joey Pants dials back the Joey Pantsness of his speech, Joey Shorts. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Yes, Eric. Joey Shorts. Joey Briefs. You, know you call Joey me Sh- Joey Shorts. You know who Joey Shorts sounds exactly yeah. like? This is what I'm getting. He sounds exactly like Steve Buscemi. Yeah. And I yeah, kept, yeah, yeah. even though I knew I was, I had IMDb open, I was looking at the opening credits, I knew Joe Pantaleano was voicing this fucking disgusting dog. I was like thinking time and again, oh, Buscemi. Even in my notes, I was like, blah, 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 Buscemi. And I was like, nope. Steve Buscemi is not in this fucking movie. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, he didn't do it. It's a time honored tradition. I mean, that he's being told do a Buscemi, and <laughs> Zach Braff was told to do a Rogan. That's uh, right on Obi Wan Kenobi. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Just could you actor do an impression of that other actor? He's he's really expensive. We're sorry. <laughs> I think, it, but if you just if you yes. de-jersify Joe Pantaleano, he sounds yeah. like New York City's Steve Buscemi. Yeah. And I mean, he's like the dog is like the hacker one. Yes. And a very and it, an incredibly wasted Michael Clark Duncan. Oh yes, yeah, Sam the sheep dog I mean, th- or whatever. This dog never even has like a moment. Like the, no, the not joke at all. is the it's dog can the dog can't see because he's one of those dogs with the the hair over his eyes. Yeah, sheep dog. Sheep yeah. dog. So he's got the hair Beautiful over his dog. eyes. He keeps bumping into stuff. Right. But that. You know what I mean? Like in a movie, you'd want the team yeah. to do something. Sure, sure, this is, sure. This is barely. It's very barely. Barely a movie. It's but, mostly talking and 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 uh, uh, Lou bonding with the boy. Yes. Um. So Baldwin like finds out that Lou does not have this training. Sure, it's not the dog that you know he thought was being sent. 
freaking the fuck out, like having to like talk to HQ or whatever. Like this whole yeah. fucking I'm dumb a, uh, Men in Black esque spy thing we're, we're, they we're have. Gonna, we're going to have to put Lou down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lou's going to go. I'm the sorry. Gas Lou. Well, the other, the dog he takes orders from this, like, I think they're called Control. This, like, it's like a collie. It's, oh, it's yes. A, it, this is a, a puppet. But, Always, I it mean, is always a puppet. They yeah. could have reused this for Isle of Dogs. Like it yes, looks that, that uh, it, it looks that like fake. That pu- the that control dog, I think, is somebody, and I don't know that I. No, I, I checked. I checked out. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's just, a, just, it's just a woman who's oh, okay. a voice actress, which is fine. Um, so right so that's like Lou is meeting the team and getting set up with yeah. his new world. We cut to this like fucking Xanadu esque haunted mansion <laughs> looking yeah. thing, and it's like, what is this movie doing? Here is our introduction to the cats. Sean Hayes as Mr. Tinkles. Fucking love it in this movie as yes. Calico, the like assistant cat here. Another bright spot, I would say. I but think. they they're not letting it, you know, because you know, I mean, it's sort of I'm, it's gonna be hard to articulate, but like the the love it's yes. yes. marm. You know, and like that's when we do terrible John Lovitz impressions. It's that he's not doing that. He's not doing, he's not love it. He's like scared no, he's the whole movie. Yes. yes. That's a weird thing. It's like, yep. I think you do get like the, the flavor of a love it's performance, but you don't get the humor or the mm. jokes of no. it. It's yes. just, you only get the style of talking and that's it. Yep. Cause that's what all these fucking things are. When you get yeah. celebrities to do voices, it's just like this empty fucking trash. <laughs> Does he sound heroic? Yeah. Put Tobey Maguire in that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, and there's this like horrendous maid character. So the whole thing is like Mr. Tinkles. Miriam Margolis, up, man. Other cats. She rules. Huh? Miriam Margolis. She's Who is great. this person? She's the, she's an actress. She's been around from the stage and everything. Uh, she's oh, the, the stage. She's, she's, she's been al- around for forever. She's also the maid in Romeo plus Juliet. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So, oh, famous maid actress. Maid <laughs> she's actress. a famous maid. I believe she's in those Harry Potter movies as well. I, I want to say she, she's oh, been in like right? a couple Peter Greenaway movies. Yeah, yeah. she's dust in Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm ghost. Dustin, I'm Dustin Hoffman, not Dustin Hogwarts. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, Mr. Tingles is having this big fucking world domination sure. meeting. Blah blah blah. And the joke is like. The maid opens the door and is like, oh, Mr. Tinkles, what are you doing here? All the cats fucking bamboos and whatnot. Very hilarious. Just top to bottom hilarious. <laughs> well, and the idea is like laughing. she is like a smothering presence that likes to dress him up in like Costumes. silly little outfits yeah. and he hates it. And his name is Mr. Tinkles. So that's these are all jokes. You should be like really just railing. Dying. And so the whole the whole thing here is. The dog's mission, such as it is, is they need to protect Jeff Goldblum so he can finish this this allergy cure. Meanwhile, the the cats want to destroy this idea because if this happens, dogs will become more popular than cats. And yes. I feel like this whole notion of a dog or, or dogs or cats becoming more popular than the other is a plot point in something else we have talked about at some point. Possibly. Really, and I, I, it was killing me last Ooh, night, and we don't have to settle it right here. But if anyone can remember, there's something that we have covered somewhere all across this vast family of shows. Colin, is that the plot of your movie Bob and Mary? <laughs> <laughs> the movie you were no the the one move the one uh, movie you were in babe, ba- ba- babe, Bob and Mary. Babe, it's Tom and Tom and Jerry. Oh, that was it. I, I didn't read the <laughs> check on the fridge. Huh? That's interesting. <laughs> Weren't they old? <laughs> <laughs> so you did like a voice over an old cartoon? That was the movie? Doesn't nobody care about those things though? Why would you make a movie about nobody cared about it? Hey babe, I watched Barry and Tom or whatever it was. You know, not a lot of, not a lot of screen time there for Lil Rel Howery. <laughs> You should try to be more alive in your eyes. <laughs> you look dead. You know, uh, I was in Under the Skin, which really pushes the boundaries of cinematic <laughs> expression. Well, Tom and Jerry just pushes patience. <laughs> you know what? You're you're in New Frontiers anyway, honey. <laughs> also, the oat milk, it's out. So, <laughs> looks yeah. like someone needs to make a run to the store. <laughs> Maybe oh. you can write some of your little news jokes while you go to the sea town. <laughs> the faucet head is still dripping. I'm going to go film another movie with Noah Baumbach. But when I get home in a month, let me know what's going on with the laundry. <laughs> if Martin Scorsese calls, do not call him back. Just tell me what the message is. <laughs> 
I saw a funny meme on the internet the other day, babe. It was someone saying, when you tell a joke, it's like a ghost escaping your mouth. <laughs> you know, I always just find it so amazing. That, like, Lauren Michaels has so much power, and you're only in one and a half movies. <laughs> he has all that power, and just... I, I find that funny, honey. <laughs> it's pretty funny, babe. Like, I think you inspired Lauren to stop producing movies. <laughs> He's finally given up. I it's mean, wonderful. This is the guy that has his name on It's Pat the Movie, <laughs> and he refuses to help you make your own. It's kind of incredible to break an icon spirit like that, babe. <laughs> also... The nanny needs to check a date <laughs> earlier this week. I'm also kind of convinced that Colin Jost is doing a weekend at Bernie's with uh, Lauren Michaels at this uh, point. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that right? could, when was the last be. time you saw That's Lauren a good Michaels? Question. Yeah, yeah, when was he talking? I, oh, you know, well, it, it, who knows when they filmed it, actually. The most recent Lauren Michaels appearance I can uh, clock is... He's obviously featured quite heavily in the uh, Kids in the Hall documentary. Mm. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, now, are you sure he's moving his lips in that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, now that I think about it, it did sound awful like Dave Foley. <laughs> yeah, hung him out to dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hung him out to dry. <laughs> oh, anything to continue talking uh, about cats and dogs. <laughs> sure. Uh, but yeah, so like, you know, that, that's their plan is they want to infiltrate the Brodies because. They using this formula for their own ends will make dogs less popular. But than also, cats. have yeah, you right. ever heard of anyone being allergic to dogs? I know cats. Oh is, yeah. Oh yeah. Really? yeah oh, who's yeah. allergic to dogs? Not me, but people. Okay, are. name one. Do you know anyone personally? personally I know maybe I know? it exists. It, it, I, it's I a don't. fake thing by hypochondriacs like to talk about. I've it. worked with people who have okay, the allergy. Na- sure. What is their name? <laughs> Wendy, Eric, are you going to track them down? Yeah, okay, what job is this? I'm not, no. She was slinging uh, double cheeseburgers and nuggets. <laughs> yeah. Red hair, cute kid. <laughs> she really liked chili. She really hung on to chili for some reason. Her dad, Dave, hanging around there. Get that girl going on how they should have never got rid of the salad bar. They always get mad when you bring dogs into Wendy's, you're right. <laughs> They will start yelling up yeah. the storm. You're bringing dogs anyway, a bunch of sneezing. So the, the thing is, like, oh, we're going to, re- the cats want to get this formula, reverse engineer it so everyone's allergic to dogs instead yes, of cats. That's yeah, right. Yeah. And um, so, like, they're going to send the ninja cats as sort of the next wave to uh, fuck with these people. And the ninja cats for 2001 are spectacularly racist, aren't they? Like, well, uh, let's 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 put it into perspective a little bit, Steve okay. Sadak. Just two little years earlier, Ooh. we had a, a big motion picture called Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. <laughs> Fair and point. I would argue there is just as much, if not more. Uh, similarly themed racism. This, this, yeah, this, movie. this movie is less racist than that movie. That's yeah. fair, yes. I mean, this they, isn't great. Don't get me wrong. They hit more than one, though. They also get the Chinese later. Mm, they make sure yes. they feel it. Oh, yeah, that's true. And the, I mean, the Russians cute. Uh, nobody cares. No, like, exactly. You know, no one's getting well, offended by that. Sean Hayes is sort of trying to do a Nazi thing here and there. A little bit, yeah. It seems I, like it comes and goes. Yeah, I mean, I think on, speaking of our uh, Once in a Lifetime episode on Baby Nap, oh, yeah. uh, on that episode, you know, we were talking about the fucking horrendous performances in that movie, and I posited that the director of that film was directing this one actress the same way that Mary Heron directed uh, Willem Dafoe in American Psycho, which yeah. is to say, like, you have three different motivations, and then I'm going to cut it together, and it's going to be weird. I think Sean Hayes was like, I'm going to do four different voices. Oh, that makes sense. Throughout the whole thing, and then you're just going to cut yep. it together, and it's going to be fucking nonsense. See, sometimes I forget. There's people just playing in a booth. Yeah. 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 You know? Yep. No, Sean, yeah, exactly. we uh, we love what you're doing, but we are not going to uh, uh, keep in uh, Zieg Hairball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're not going to be doing that. Z that's a good, uh, that's like a good joke. Could that turn up in uh, the graphic novel Mouse at any point? <laughs> no, <I don't>. it's, <laughs> uh, Mouse is a little less cute than you'd expect. Yeah. Actually, yeah. If, you, if you can imagine. <laughs> I've, I, I've read it. It was a while ago. <laughs> no, yeah. I, don't, I don't recall it being that cute. <laughs> no, exactly. It's not like cute cats getting hairballs and tummy aches. <laughs> no, 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 the no, the belly true. laughs are pretty minimum. But... <laughs> 
<laughs> they do. I, I read it in high school or whatever, but they do do the cats versus dog things because the American GIs are dogs. Yes. Right? yes. And then that's I believe right. the poles are pigs if they're. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's no, that's it. Right. Yeah, exactly. You got two All pigs right. in this room. Okay. Dude. I guess you saw me. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Uh, anywho, the, the the ninja cats come in and they're Bruce Lee noising. I'll, yeah. I'll put that there. Yeah, sure. It's and it's it's Billy boring. West and the the voices. It's and, Billy West and somebody else. And the other person is also surprised. Very white. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, it's not great. And we're fucking fighting. You know, mm -hmm. these cats are yes. fighting these sure, dogs sure. and whatnot. And you. Bet your sweet tits in this movie. There's a fucking dumbass Matrix uh -huh. bullet time thing. This cat uh -huh. bullet timing dot shit. And it looks better than everything in Revenge of the Sith. Whoa. <laughs> by, law, you, by law, you had to have that kind of scene. You, yeah, movie. you just kind of did. It was released by a big fucking company. You had to have but it But it's just there. so funny because it's like some fucking eight-year-old watching this movie that was indeed six when the Matrix came yeah, out. Sure. Like. That's got to be for the parents in the room. That's like, oh, I wish I was watching The Matrix. <laughs> they all do that, right? Like Shrek does oh, sure. cultural oh, yes. references. Yeah. And it's all fucking annoying. I don't know what's worse. Maybe it was a better era when we were seeing Air Bud and Cats and Dogs versus Ooh. Minion, Minion, Minion. It's in their juicy asses. Stay right? tuned. It's yeah. Just, oh, yeah. See, like, this is like we're attempting to blend this world with the human world. And soon enough, I feel like family films just abandon that altogether, and we're just doing the CGI cartoon people. Well, yeah, hey, babe, were filler. you in Minions? Oh, no, that made money. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you were in a Minion. I, I was telling my friend, uh, Chris Evans, who's also incredibly successful, that you were in Minions. I got to call him back. Oh, yeah, and he was telling me that the ratings for SNL keep going down? <laughs> Is that true? You know what, babe? You know what I'm going to do? Christmas is coming up. I'm going to call Disney Plus for you. <laughs> no. I'm going to see if you can get a voice work on some baby show. Uh, but they fight. And, like, I think he, uh, at this point, Lou proves himself to Butch, who is Alec Baldwin. Well, no, this is he fu He gets fucked over here, right? Oh, right? Because he gets, like, these cats throw this dog into a garbage or, like, <laughs> into the side of a garbage can. A bunch of garbage You know, this, this dog, dog does eat shit quite a bit in this movie. He does. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hilarious. And so this is, like... This was one of those things where, like, they wake up in the middle of the night. The cats fucking scram. Mm -hmm. And there's this poor dog covered in banana peels and flour. And yeah. I don't know what fucking banana bread was being made or something <laughs> earlier that day. And then they, so Goldblum and uh, Elizabeth Perkins think that there's, like, an intruder or whatever. This and they is come actually downstairs. they're trying to do a kind of a decent joke. It doesn't really stick the landing. But Jeff Goldblum, instead of coming down with a baseball bat, comes down with a catcher's glove. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the whole thing there is they turn the lights on and then it's like, oh, bad dog, Lou. No, that's a bad. Get the fuck out of this. And they just fucking leave this dog in the yard. Absolutely. Dude. Learn yeah. your sh fucking lesson, you little puck. You tiny beagle puppy. <sighs> God damn, like, dude. You got to take time off work. You can't be showing houses. This yep. th th is a full time job. It's a fucking break it in a puppy. It is a fucking commitment, dude. Uh, and so, you know. They kick him out of the house, and then, so then Lou gets chewed out by by Alec Baldwin's dog character. You, you here. dirty little pig! <laughs> oh, you <laughs> stupid little pig! <laughs> fucking disgusting pig! Again, it's puppy Alec. Puppy, <laughs> puppy. Yeah, pig I know you little call pigs. me from her mother's house. I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> there's a couple of pigs. You're like a pole in an Art Spiegelman <laughs> comic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, little pig, you, just, you little pig, you just sat there and watched it all happen. Didn't you? <laughs> and so, you know, he's like, you, you know, this is a serious job, blah, 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 blah. And like fucking walks away from the dog or whatever. This is where Lou, like out in the alley, you know, questioning his very existence, mm. runs into another uh, actress voicing a dog who's totally wasted Susan Saran. I have no idea what she's doing in this movie. Hey, she's, she's the old fuck lines. buddy of, of Butch. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's before she became this nation's greatest criminal. <laughs> oh, God. So. We got to stop blaming Susan Sarandon. <laughs> it things, is folks. the most fucking pathetic. You know what? Susan Sarandon, Susan Sarandon's seat on the couch. Come Absolutely. On. We will talk about any, any, any fucking time. movie you exactly. want. Susan Sarandon. She is fantastic, and Wonderful. we shouldn't blame her for anything. You try can, to watch Rocky. Try to watch her I also in Rocky just, Horror Picture Show, the movie, and try not to get horny. I fucking <laughs> dare you. I just love, Bull Durham. I uh, also. I just <laughs> love that everyone's mad at her, like because a woman's not pre like. How dare a woman have an opinion? You know. Oh yeah, that really sticks to them. 
It's yeah. also been fucking seven years, and she voted for somebody else. Let's relax. And like every but, time, but don't like, you know what? she swayed the entire she nation? Did, yes, because yeah. exactly, everyone <laughs> gave a shit with Susan. Sar- and so people are just walking around waiting for Susan Sarandon <laughs> to tell them who to vote for. <laughs> well, well you know, I, I was going to vote today, but I didn't uh, get a chance to figure out who Susan Sarandon was <laughs> voting for. And all so. those guys that quote Twitter and dunk on her are just like, well, I, I want to know what Chris Sarandon is voting for. That's who I <laughs> <laughs> and even Susan Sarandon replies, who the fuck cares what Chris Sarandon thinks? <laughs> I love Christmas Vacation. He's just he's <laughs> wonderful in it. That's the other... That's not him. <laughs> <laughs> but she... This moment is very weird. She comes out. She's like this old... Old sultry Ivy. dog. Ooh, yeah, yeah Ivy. Well, yeah, well, she jacks him off, right? This is well, the weird part. Yep, yep. She starts rubbing his belly. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa what was that? <laughs> She's oh, like, yeah. that's just for being a good dog. And she slinks away. And like, you think like, okay, it's petting. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Intimate. But then, but then later, when like Alec Baldwin's like, you gave that dog a, a belly rub. And yep. she's like, you love the belly rubs I gave you. So now you're, you, the movie, yeah, are making yeah. it sex. I didn't yep. make it sex. No, no, no. So now she's molesting this well, fucking six month well, dog. Special agents have sex regardless of age. Well, I think it's kind of like, uh, oh, I don't know. Well, almost famous. You know? <laughs> yeah. sure. Here's little Patrick Fugit. <laughs> Nary had his D sucked in his life. Got it. Okay. Uh-huh. And, you know, uh-huh. then all the band aids. Help him out. Oh, that's Let's right. Deflower the enemy. That's that. Then she grabs him by both the big beagle ears and says, "You are home, little doggy." Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Got it. Come on, Opie. <laughs> also, I mean, once again, this fucking family, F plus in the dog ownership department. <laughs> you fucking had this dog for like how many days now? Yeah. And you haven't rubbed its belly. Like, and what and kind it's of sick. Fuck are you? It's out there. God knows where getting its balls drained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even if spay or new to your pets. knocking up the neighbor's chow or oh, whatever. Oh man, that's yeah. Fuck. Where's Bob Barker in this scenario? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. You know you wouldn't have to have all these dogs and cats being <laughs> spies if you just neutered them all. He used to always carry a scalpel with him <laughs> just I sh- in case. Yeah, he would I, just I, grab a dog. Well, and hey, Mr. hey, Mr. Rex, guess how much that washing machine cost? <laughs> If not, I'm gonna nip your balls. I won't. I won't rest until every pair of animal testicles is obliterated. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Snuffles. You went five hundred dollars over on telling me how much this snowmobile costs. Oh man, snip! He used no more have... genitals for you. People don't know this, and this is real. He used to have a testicle necklace. Mm. You know, with all of his trophies. Yeah, he wore it all the time in interviews. Little shriveled up dog nuts. (laughs) All right, without going over, how many dog testicles do I have around my neck? Uh, Oh, shit. One. (laughs) Oh, you want me to ruin lady dogs, too? Okay. (laughs) I I got that. Let's do that. So there is a whole thing because he is, Jeff Goldblum is a shit ass father in this movie. Oh, yeah, dog shit. But the kid, you see the kid. Yeah, I wouldn't want to fucking support this kid. I'd check out, too. Even if you boiled it down and uh, and see this dog strictly as office equipment, this is a (laughs) terrible way. To use office equipment, uh, mm, uh, uh, honey, I don't know how to say this uh, uh, without being mm, ha, indelicate. Uh, mm, see, I'm uh, Jewish, and uh, ha, ooh, uh, our son is not at all, <laughs> I, at all. He's, he's, uh, he, a stork he dropped him off. He dropped him off. It must have been just a magic thing that happened. He looks a lot like mm, uh, who the mailman. Ha, ha. <laughs> He certainly does. You know what? He it, looks nothing like Jeff Goldblum. And it would be just in, like, I would love a life of these parents to have some type of consequence. Whether it's, it doesn't have to be, she's fucking the male. No, but like maybe no. she, but, there, there's yeah. a second marriage scenario. Ha, or, oh, or, just, oh, ha, yeah. Or, or yeah, sure. Or just even have a conversation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, what was your day like? Well, well, no, it's only when they're getting like a family napped that they seem to be doing something <laughs> yes. together as a family. Well, she tries though. She's like, hey, motherfucker, uh, this kid who you hate. <laughs> yeah. Um, He's got soccer tryouts today. You got to go to the tryouts. Yeah, cheer him on. Yeah, and he's like, oh, uh, uh, soccer. Yeah, I, uh, I'll be there. And then, like, <laughs> he misses it. He's, he's, yeah, he's an yeah. absent minded professor type. I'm, you know, I mean, we're making fun of the way this kid looks and compared to Jeff Goldblum, but 
the truth of it is, is what happened is Jeff Goldblum put this kid and a glass of whole milk in the transporter together. <laughs> oh, oh you know, I see. And then, yep. it, you know what? Classic you could, mistake. He, he was there. He was having a, a cookie, and he just left it in there by accident. <laughs> and, you know, it just happens like that sometimes. Uh, oh, uh, Brundle kid. <laughs> oh, shit, Brundle kid. Milk baby. baby. <laughs> milk baby is uh. so much worse. <laughs> Yeah, Brundle Kid's one thing, man. No, no. I don't know about that milk baby. <laughs> Look, you, gotta go, you gotta go for the <laughs> horrific end. <laughs> yeah, Always the, yeah, the you, thing that makes your skin want to jump off. You uh, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he misses the tryout. The kid, it's... And I mean, this coach should lose this job. Because I mean, like, it's fucking peewee soccer tryouts. Yep. The kid's like, and the, the kid is shown to be terrible. And the mom's like, how'd it go? And the kid's like, huh. He said girls' tryouts are on Monday. Oh, I'm like, sure. I'm going to have a fucking talk with this dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, also, like, what is a fucking 10-year-old trying out for a team for? Like, everybody gets on, and if you suck shit, you ride that fucking bench, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. Uh, not all teams. <laughs> <laughs> Someone didn't make the basketball team. Oh, there was a, oh really? Oh, yeah, yeah big time. Oh, like 12. No. oh, no way, dude. You yeah. know, I, I was in Little League until they told me not to be anymore. <laughs> I quit what? Little League. I played basketball for one season. was fucking horrible. Never went back to that. I would never do Little League. It's a fucking nest of bullies. No, thank oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little League. I played uh, one season of basketball. And uh, never got the ball. Oh, that's oh, yeah, my, my little league team actually won the whole thing. Wow! And then they were like, "Yeah, don't come back next year." <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah. That's fucked up. Look, yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you this straight: the T is doing most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna be square with you. <laughs> there is a funny thing when they are having this argument about missing the soccer practice. They cut to the outside, and the kid. This is like where the kid starts learning. That, you know, Lou is just a fucking innocent animal, man. Yes. And he's not a yeah. loser and he can fucking learn to love him too and whatever. They cut to, it's the shot of like this kid outside with the ball and the dog's there. And you can see what is supposed to be Jeff Goldblum and Elizabeth Perkins arguing in silhouette, like through this window. And it is, do you guys notice this? The clearly, clearly two different people. It's just stand-ins? There's just fucking stand-ins. <laughs> they look incredible. Nothing That's like incredible. either of them. Yeah. And like, with Goldblum especially, you can tell, you you fucking see a silhouette, you're like, that is Jeff Goldblum's yes. silhouette. Look at right. that fucking hulking, crazy, tall, the, weird Nosferatu silhouette. The, the budget's getting a little thin. How did that kid do it in Home Alone? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he had a Michael Jordan cardboard yeah. cutout. Okay, and, uh, can you can maybe cut a mouth and make it look like it's moving? Michael uh, Jordan is arguing with <laughs> Elizabeth Perkins. <laughs> ah, that'd be great. Uh, oh, man. But whatever. Like, so the the movie moves on, doesn't it? But like, I it think really the, next, the, the next thing is basically the kid likes the dog. Now they're playing soccer inside the house. Yep. And dad, Jeff Goldblum, accidentally leaves his lab open Uh-oh. with just some Nickelodeon horseshit, all these yeah, yeah, yeah. files and yeah, nonsense. Yeah, full of gack and goop. And- yeah, totally, dude. I fucking took one look at this room. I was like, are you about to tell me fucking Snick is starting in a few <laughs> minutes? Come on. All si- you know, all, all, all liquids that are used in uh, chemistry look like Gatorade. Yes. <laughs> That's just how it's always been. Well, we're not talking about the body horror, which is weird. Every time Jeff Goldblum thinks he has the formula, he smells the dog and then like his nose gets really big. Oh, I forgot oh, about gets, that. Like, it's hives gross. All it's over it's his body. big, disgusting flubber Cause, hives. Because he's trying this like anti allergy formula sure. on himself. Yes. And yeah, one time is like fucking breaks out in a bunch of hives. It's disgusting. It reminded me of Chris Elliott in Scary Movie 2. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very gross. It also kind of reminds me of uh, Chris, um, ooh, uh, Mr. SVU. Oh, Maloney. Well, Chris Maloney. Chris yes. Maloney in them fucking Harold and Kumar yes, movies. Yes. He looks disgusting with warts all over his face yes. or whatever. And that, mm-hmm. He looks like both of those guys. But then there is the other part where he's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, my nose. And then it's just this disgusting oh, fucking W.C. Fields See, alcoholic Everything nose. is saying back to formula, but he's like, <laughs> I'm ready to begin uh, human trials. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, exactly. look I, I have to lick this dog. I have to make sure he's okay. Dude, he uh, definitely sniffs Lou's ass, like uh, close enough, right up to that dog's ass. Mm-hmm. Ha. Yes, I'm the Goldblum Goblin. Mm-hmm. Ha. <laughs> uh, Goldblum uh, Goblin oh, Gutter. Uh, 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 back to uh, formula. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, don't think so. 
But he uh, knocks it over. And I, I thought we were going to get a full-on Jeff Goldblum uh, deep cover freak out here. Yep. Because they trash his offense. Fresh fish. Yes. <laughs> when, he, when he really starts going at it. But, yeah. like, he, and he's about to. He's like, oh, uh, it's a ruined. Oh, ha, ho, oh, ha. And then he notices, uh-oh, why, wow. By doing that, he solved the thing. And he's actually Ooh. now has the right formula. I'd be freaking out, though, because it's like, oh, shit. My thing, the formula finally works. I have no idea what this fucking yes. soccer ball knocked into what. Yeah. Like, you can't reproduce it. You gotta like analyze it or do the, you know, the computers well, and make it all. You gotta go do the computers spin. for yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Make it all beep and bloop and it'll be like, <laughs> this is what it is. There needs to be beeping and blooping for sure. You need the bleeps and bloops. <laughs> but you know what's worse is that when he writes, he inevitably has to write the paper on finding this. He's definitely gonna have to credit the soccer ball. <laughs> Oh, yeah. In my findings, I have to thank uh, Loser the Dog, <laughs> this soccer ball that wasn't turned into a person. Tom Hanks didn't get near it. Oh, Do you think shit. he would win in the Pulitzer Prize, uh, and there was in the Nobel Prize versus Michael Morbius and his fake blood, or which Ooh, one? Oh, that's a toughie. That is tough. Because both you know are very helpful to people. I think Morbius would win, <laughs> but then he wouldn't go up there, so they'd give it to the runner up. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> That makes sense. Man, let's just all take a second to laugh about Morbius getting put back in theaters what? because fucking boomer executives at Sony have no fucking clue what sarcasm on the internet sounds yeah, like. It's Stop showing good. them Twitter. Stop doing <laughs> yeah, exactly. it. They don't. It is just, <laughs> I saw Stop that. Stop printing Twitter out for your dad. And also, like having having just left the world of film bookings and whatnot also proves that a lot of those dudes that just fucking book big chains and that are just old fucking clueless boomers of too. Oh, yeah, 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 you can come back in with Morbius, whatever. <laughs> it did terrible the first time. It's got to do better this like time. You, they needed a fucking 35-year-old person to be like, no, they're making fun of us. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Those people, they, ooh, 35-year-olds, no, they can't, they can't have positions of power or careers. Not in this world. Not with their $9 cups of coffee they can. Everybody, I mean, everybody's talking about this movie, The Room. We gotta get it back <laughs> out in theaters. Biggest screen they got. I'm telling you, these kids cannot stop talking about it. 75 shows at the Empire 25, something called The Rum. I'm gonna strike, we gotta strike some 75 millimeter prints of this sucker. I got, we gotta get this to the, our houses too. You know that fucking Weezo creep would be trying to do a Q&A after every screen. Oh, yeah. He'd want to go to everyone. Uh, so that all happens. There's also a thing. I think it happens before, the but Russian it, does, it doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like Elizabeth Perkins driving home. She's a real estate agent. Speaking of real estate agents. Um, and she, you know, is coming home in the middle of the day. She just sees a cat, like, laying in the street. And is just like, well... I fucking brought this dog home that I'm terrible at like, taking care of. Why don't I terribly <laughs> take care of this? You just like bringing home strays it's in the middle of very all this shit. Bizarre. Do you think that this uh, the actor, the disgusting shit boy, mm. he was inspired because his movie mom oh, was wow. in real estate? Maybe I'll get into oh, real estate. Oh, that well, could be. Well, that she must, be he must have looked at her and be like, "Well, that doesn't look humiliating. This is humiliating." <laughs> I mean, well, she I, does uh, might have some dignity. I mean, but I do kind of understand her taking this cat in because. Your husband, uh, she is getting no dick. Let's be very clear. This guy is uh -huh. not throwing Jeff it. Jeff Goldblum, though? And he's, he's he's he doesn't always have in it. the basement. Yeah. Yeah, he has the look for it, but mm. he doesn't. when he's talking to her, he's clearly on a different. He's in a different world. Gotcha. Interesting. That's a real fucking shame. Yeah, I so you like, imagine the two of them getting it on. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm right sure now. at one point, the, whatever produced the shit boy was no, clear. No, mailman. Fucking mailman, dude. Yeah. Well, I, he I'd say put the a letter in her slot. <laughs> But they bring the cat home, and he's a Russian spy, and it's a big fun fight scene. This is <laughs> like only the the, the the mild chuckle that I got because a it's disgusting. What this 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 cat's powers, such as they are. Oh man, it's it's hairballs that are plastic bombs and other stuff. Spike balls. Yeah, yeah, there's one that's like it fucking blows up and shoots a bunch of nails all over yeah, the room. Like Tommy Lee that. Jones from Blown Away fucking <laughs> did these fucking bombs. All the cats have like ooh weird eastern voices. Uh -huh. oh. yeah. Dog well, is, Aganda. Yes. Yes, um, yes. And also western. There is the nail bomb. There's also the fucking the ball that's just a like 
contains dog shit. Oh, that's right. He's got dog shit in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this cat swallowed dog uh, shit. You know, I, feel, I swallowed dog shit when I saw this movie. <laughs> Fuck this. It's just so awful. And, you know, the, they destroy the fucking house. This is the only time. Look, this movie has a like, shrapnel everywhere. The yeah. shrapnel everywhere. But the, this movie gets really close to like what the kind of good jokes this movie could make, which is. They're trying to defuse the bomb, and uh, Joe Pantoliano dog is like, oh, you got to cut the red wire. And Alec Baldwin is like, I'm fucking colorblind, man. And then you see a black and white thing, and you can't. And he's like, the dark the dark gray one. Like, that's close to the world in which this movie sure. is sort of humorous. Sure, yep. sure. You know yep. what I mean? Like, no, wait, yep. But it's a dog telling him to cut the red wire, but he's also, wouldn't they all, he also be colorblind? I think Pantoliano has some line about, in these things, they always say, uh-huh. cut the red one. Oh, uh, yeah, they say that. <laughs> I remember that. When well, they, and all the, you know, say. movies and TV oh, yeah. that those dogs are watching. Hey, that's, uh, that's something they say, like, hello and <laughs> good day. They all watch live wire. <laughs> Dude, just, I wish. There is uh, a funny part in this, like, scuffle with the Russian cat, though, where, like... <laughs> This huge, like, China hutch is about to fall over, and Alec Baldwin dog is, like, stuck underneath it because he's tied up in a phone cord, and yeah. it is just this dog trying to get its leg off of this phone cord. Pretty funny. Not not, hap- not happy with it. That, that's that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, too, is like, this, like, men in black, you, you point it, that this world of, like, we'll clean up the whole house. I'm like, well, then there's no stakes to anything. Yep. No, you know no, what no. I mean? Like, like, oh, Baldwin's like, get a cleanup crew in here. It's not even like steampunk. It's like cartoon science magic where yeah, like yeah, yeah. everything but, is perfect again. Yeah, and they're not even as curious about the world uh, as they're in Men in Black. Like, it'd be one thing if like, the cat, it's literally just love it's in haze. And yes. then there's like a dinner scene. But like, yeah. that's literally it with yes. the cats. Yep. So, Where's their headquarters? Why yeah. is, like, if it's a thing where it's like, so, okay. If the dogs are like, you know, the spies bond kind of thing. Sure. Then this headquarters is like an MI6 or like the MIB headquarters kind of thing, right? The other side of that, you really need to amp up. If this cat is like a specter type thing, yeah. which would make sense because, of course, you know, Blofeld with the cat. Well, sure. Yeah, like you of, do that. Instead of specter, they could call it cat turd. Yeah, you know. Sure. Say whatever. Whatever they want to call it. Yeah. Thunderclaw, that's pretty good. <laughs> But like, Thundercat. just do fucking <laughs> a- any of that. Oh, oh, then you're getting sued. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, set up that part of it, too. So it's not just like these two cats and then, yeah, a table full of others that you never hear from. I again. think that they're trying to avoid, which I mean, this movie is also very informed by Austin Powers comparison. Sure. Right, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you get too close to that because I mean, that's what this movie's doing. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yep. a spy spoof in 2001 for sure. Yes, you, but I guess like going that far might be a fridge too far. Possibly. What was the uh, what was the, the release date of that second AP? Was that 2000? Probably 99, if I want oh, wow. to guess. Oh, yeah, wow. So the first right. one was 97. So, yeah, so yeah. All right, 97, 99, and then maybe 2000. I, I think, yeah, I was, but, I was still in high school when the third one came out, and I was very disappointed. I'll look by this it. up, but do you guys think that any kids, like, uh, tortured any cats or dogs to try to find their secret world absolutely probably <laughs> kids are stupid as yes. fuck this is definitely a subject we should deep deep, deep <laughs> dive into spy right who now. shagged me 99 yep. gold member 2002 okay oh. oh okay so this 20 year anniversary <laughs> <laughs> like a the only the only uh, funny part in uh gold member is danny devito playing mini me yeah and he's yeah. grabbing his fucking dick and he's like ah mini me <laughs> that's and actually i mean Tom Cruise doing the Austin Powers thing sure. is kind of funny. Sure. But the rest of that movie can fucking flush itself. Could be on this channel. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, stay tuned. 20 year anniversary. So whatever. They wind up, uh, They the, the cat intercepts the call that Jeff Goldblum cracked the thing. So they're like, all right, now we have to abduct the family. They said, I mean, like, Elizabeth Perkins gets a a box of mail for her like nine year old son. Yeah, like I can't believe it. Like, it oh, looks, it's, it's for you. It's it looks like, like a, a mail bomb. Exactly. Like by the way, like, yep. like you would be yep. like, who is sending my son mail? Like, wouldn't you be like, I'm I the mother. I'm gonna yeah. open this, uh-huh. investigate, and yeah. move on. Yeah. Yeah, because like well, kids uh, don't get mail, her man. Lo- but her lover, the mailman, said that would be uh, a federal yeah. offense to open it. Oh fuck, that's right. You don't want to. You want to disappoint Harold. Is, yeah, is the he father going, of your child. Is he going away again soon? <laughs> Doesn't he have some like? I mean, he he's doing good, right? So he's got to go away, like for be awards his. and stuff. Dog right? conference, Science, yeah. scientist conventions. So I can 
I, the mailman, can come yes. over and make some other deliveries. Anyway, here's this package that's ticking. <laughs> it's got your kid's name on it. And he w- he's won a contest, which obviously he didn't enter, the, because he's a big soccer kid. And, and like, I guess it's kind of a joke. It's an exhibition game between Uruguay and Chad. Pam- Chad. Chad. Okay, and, he's like, and the kid's like, Ape shit excited about it. Sure. And like, yeah, we do have exhibition soccer matches sure. in this country from, you know, uh, like other country teams, like national teams come over and play yeah. or whatever. That does happen. Uh, that's not a, a thing. But we are not told like where this movie takes place. We no. have no idea what fucking arena. And so it's just like this weird, like, I don't know. The kids sort of like soccer. Yeah, there's a soccer well, match that but, they go to. And it's also a thing where Jeff Bo- Goldblum, because he's supposed to be like an absent minded professor type. Like, that means he doesn't see with his eyes. Sure. Yeah. So when they drive up to this thing, which oh, looks man. like he's about to get his COVID shot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> totally it's right. I, I, like, he's like, oh, this is not creepy at all. That this is an absolutely like nobody is here. At a stadium parking lot. At a lot. stadium parking lot. Yep. And just like, I'm going to, I know, I'm just going to start saying chili dog because that's funny. Chili dog, <laughs> chili dog, chili dog. Dude, and it's a weird thing where like, in that moment, because it's a very gold bloom type thing that he's doing right there, I was like, man, he fucking hated making this. Oh, yeah. this is the best that he can gold bloom out to is saying mm-hmm. chili dog. Yeah. yeah. It's and they, disgusting. They get gassed. And meanwhile, the cat, this decrepit old fucking Mason Verger motherfucker. <laughs> I think his name is Mr. Mason. Isn't it? <laughs> yes, uh, it is. <laughs> Cordell, bring me my cat. Speaking of pigs. <laughs> But this guy doesn't speak at all, and I guess he's just dead, and they're puppeting a corpse. Well, yes. speaking of Weekend at Bernie's, dude. Right, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, yeah. And it's like, a funny gag where the, Sean Hayes is speaking for the guy kind of a thing. Yeah, well, that's that's a weird thing that this movie introduces way too late in the game that when a- animals can speak and human beings can hear them. Yes, yeah. exactly, because you, you, it's, always, it's always a question, like, can... Is John Arbuckle fucking listening or what? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Going crazy. And it's way too late in the game before you yes. realize, like, oh, humans can hear these animals. All right. So yeah. Can you they're... imagine John Arbuckle today, like a cartoonist with a cat, just living alone in a giant house? He is, is that, a mod on salary? Reddit. Like, isn't he's, that Scott he's on Adams, the Dilbert guy? <laughs> oh, yes. yes. yes that's <laughs> fair. Is. It is yeah, a delusional <laughs> fuck talking to bullshit and writing like a weird science fiction books about how men should take over everything. Exactly. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude. I'll be picking yeah. that up at the airport. <laughs> I'm kidding. They would never put that in a <laughs> real bookstore. <laughs> the airport in hell. Maybe that that screams self-published on Amazon. Uh-huh. If I ever wow. heard it, that is Scott really, Adams. Really, fuck that guy's guy. so pathetic, man. He sucks. Yeah. It's really bad. It's very sad. But I hope a dog bites him. We gotta cover yeah. the uh we gotta cover the Dilbert cartoon on AD one. Oh, oh yes, yeah. big Daniel Stern there. Oh yeah. Oh man. That, 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 that's a lock. I, I watched <laughs> one episode, never again. Is that right? Well, let's go back for a second. Ditto, yeah. I was I was, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I'm never going back here. Yeah, yeah. I I literally can cannot stand Dilbert. Uh, and yeah. I was just like, no. All right. Now, yeah. I've never once found it funny and i had i had some relatives that were big into it shock sure. of all shocks uh-huh. but like they would fucking show me like hilarious calendar things that they had at dilbert or like you know oh here's the oh, thing from the funnies just let here's a good dilbert you would get a get a look at this dilbert and i was God like damn. i was born in 1984 it's fucking impossible for me to care about this shit what is wrong with you Showing me what Dilbert. Are, what are those jokes? They're just like, oh man, I'm at the office. You know what it again. is? You know what it is? It's fucking pathetic boomer office space. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Isn't the fax machine annoying? See, and we spice it up here on the on the program, folks. We instead we talk about the office potlucks being full of, you know what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. You know what? Dil- po- Dilbert. Yeah. Dilbert ate a lot of cum in his day. A lot of Dude, poison little, and cum. He's a cum pig. Absolutely. <laughs> Somebody say pig. <laughs> they, whatever, they take over this factory. They fu- Sean Hayes hilariously fires everyone in the factory. So this Mr. Mason uh-huh. owns a Christmas tree flocking factory. Sure, yes. So they just spray it with fake snow. That's yeah. what it is. That is and- a business. That's, that's surprising that that's a business. Well, I don't know if it's like a thing that, you know, you could build an entire factory out of only doing that. I'm sure there's like 
Right, you know, like yeah. the Christmas tree store, those fucking unhinged shopping <laughs> yeah. outlets, you know? Yeah, it's plus like- we got some uh, kids in the basement, you know, <laughs> making some fucking sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Making some Santa's. String, yeah. yeah, string factories aren't that big. Mouse hunts also lies. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but yeah, so the whole, yeah, they wheel the dude in. And yeah. yeah, Sean Hayes is sitting on the guy's lap. It's a motorized wheelchair. So they got that covered. Yeah. And this dude just like rolls into his factory. And they're all like, oh my God, Mr. Mason's here. Oh, oh, oh. And he yeah. like goes up to the office. And yes. Like Steve said, the cat gets on the intercom and is just like, you're all fired. The assistant asks if he needs anything. And he said, sushi and a quart of cream. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. That is I, I will not do that, sir. You must fire me. <laughs> I am not going to get you that. Uh, That's sir, disgusting. If you want a thing of cream and some sushi, that means two stops. And <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm almost certain you're going to combine them. And that's <laughs> the real fear <laughs> here. <laughs> Milky sushi. Uh, just some milk, baby. Milk sushi. <laughs> no! oh, man. Milky, milky fish. That's probably, you know, a specialty in the UK. We're probably insulting someone right now. <laughs> yeah. Or Norway. Who the well, fuck you get knows? like a like a uh, 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 like a coconut milk curry, you know, All right, now we're there. that's yeah. something. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. But, but a cold just, milk and fish. Nah. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. definitely not happening. Uh, uh, whatever. So, yeah, they take it over. And I guess because they are going to use the plan is disgusting as it is. Sure. They are going to put the antidote that they are like mass producing yes. somehow. Doesn't matter. It's the movie Cats and Dogs. Uh, they're going to put it into these fucking flocking guns and spray an army of mice yep. and then let that army of mice out on society at large mm-hmm. and poison everybody. Make everyone allergic to dogs. Oh, so yeah. this is the Nazi version of mouse again. <laughs> it is. Oh, they're going to get everywhere. It's also a little bit of uh, the Scarecrow's plan and Batman Begins. Mm, that's oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, and they, whatever, they they, they sent a video to Lou that we've kidnapped the Brodies, and the only way to get them back is you have to give us the, the, the research or we'll kill them all. Should have teamed right. up with the sharks, right? They hate Brodies. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say. I love your work. <laughs> Messing with the Brodies, huh? I could get into that action. Oh, man, there's still more. There's always more Brodies to nosh on. I'm Jaws the Shark. <laughs> oh, you never ate a fresh Brody. Oh, brother. <laughs> Let me tell you. These Brodies keep fucking. I'm never going to be out of a job. <laughs> Me, Jaws. Next time I'm going to cut you off a nice piece of a Brody and you're going to get to nosh down on that. You're going to love it. All you're going to need is one piece and then you're going to be hooked on the stuff I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you should eat people. (laughs) I didn't eat the Kittredge boy. A buddy of mine did. I can't speak from Kittredge. I don't know. That That was a tiger shark, I believe. No, I only eat the Brodies. Just the Brody. So that guy that took Quint out, no, 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 no. But that kid of theirs, mm, she good like, sequel eating. She, I, I have to hold back. I can't eat them all now because I need them to breed so to make more Brodies. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's your factory farm and Brodies. I almost made one public exception. Uh, that Mario Van Peebles character. What a terrible accent. <laughs> I love the, the the conservation element. Oh, not too. We got to pull yeah, back exactly, a little, dude. I got to think ahead. They got to repopulate. <laughs> got a lot of time on this earth. <laughs> uh, but so there's a very long sequence in which they finally see the dog HQ. This is very boss baby, by the way. Very yeah, oh, yeah. boss baby mm-hmm. HQ ish. This was where I got the most men in black vibes. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, yeah. there's just a ton of like. It's a huge facility. People are people. Animals, I guess, in this case, are walking around doing various jobs and shit. And something, something, there's the Congress of Dogs, and they have to vote whether or not they want to let the Brodies die or they want to save them and for all dog kind, and everyone votes. Oh, right. And there's a funniest joke when, like, the dogs aren't paying attention, then uh, Charlton Heston dog opens a can of dog food. That's again, funny. like that's sort of again, yeah. like these are that's the realm in which this movie is mildly I be- amusing. I believe we go against type for a second, where the German Shepherd wants to save the family, <laughs> <laughs> and he's not. He, is he speaking German? It's got an accent. Uh, it's yeah. a German accent. Well, yeah. there's. I wanted to point it out. The fucking Sean Hayes cat when he fires everybody over the PA in the factory. 
the last, like the sign off thing is he just goes, you know, it's like something, something, and uh, cats rule. Yeah, and like he fucking kind of puts his hand yeah, like, oh, off, yeah, and yeah. it's a little bit of a fucking HH there, man. It Later is. on in the movie, he's got a big red and black, uh, what do you call their uh, banner that says mm. Tinkles on it. Oh, right, because mm. they're kind of doing like a weird Citizen Kane thing. Yeah, like whatever fucking speech he's making at some dude, point, dude. You know, know, like by the time we got to this part of the movie. Oh boy, I was on the floor, <laughs> smacking the ground, <laughs> looking up at the TV here and there. I was similar because I, I had a lot of notes in the beginning, and the notes got real sparse oh, towards oh, yeah. the end. They sure did, didn't they? <laughs> well, you got it. You got a fucking so stupid joke here, where like, so they vote to the uh, dog council votes uh, to I sacrifice the family, and you cut to a television, yeah, and it is a it is a picture of a wolf with like a Photoshop microphone in its paw yeah and it's wolf blitzer for canine news <sighs> knn i would rather walk into the ocean than which watch is, this again which is also <laughs> weird that they didn't get wolf blitzer to do it do you know what i mean yeah because like, yeah. that would be the joke right he sounds exactly like wolf blitzer he's just called wolf blitzer yeah. right it's just some guy not even doing a wolf blitzer impression just like i'm wolf like it's more of a newscaster like a wolf yeah. blitzer canine right. news like that's that's the joke, right? And next yeah. is Labrador Maddow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's two thousand one. I mean, how big was Wolf Blitzer? Yeah, not very. He was just coming up. He was a hot star at that point. Dude, is remember, that right? he was just hot, coming he was up. He's a hot little piece of ass. Yeah. Yeah. Remember CNN? that Mission Impossible movie where it stops dead yeah, so yeah. Wolf Blitzer can be in it? Yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Kind of yeah, dumb. Tom was a, a great guy to hang out with. Hi, I'm Wolf Blitzer. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, Wolf. Wolf Blitzer does have that kind of beard where it's so short that you're like, why are you bothering? It just it, looks like you didn't well, shave. Well, because it's like twice a day is, buzz, dude. Yeah. yeah, shaving's a pain in the fucking ass. So I feel. I do. Right? Yeah. Right. You want to no, shave saying, every morning? No, I'm just gonna say. I'm saying if you're gonna have a beard, let sure. it grow in to be a beard. It just looks like he has permanent five o'clock shadow a lot of the time. Mm. No, yeah, for sure. But I bet the ladies love it. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Wolf Blitzer at a fucking singles night. Forget mm -hmm. about he, it. He lights a match off his face. Hell yeah, dude. LL Wolf B, dude. <laughs> uh, so Why don't you suck these wolf bees? <laughs> I, uh, I shampoo and condition the beard. Yeah. No. That's how it gets soft like that. That's smart. <laughs> We do get a little bit of a backstory about this Alec Baldwin dog right. where it's like he, you know, had a little boy, too. And then, like, the kid went off to college. It This part of the movie, I was like, I did that to my dogs. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and felt horrible for, like, half a second. Then I was like, dial it back, motherfucker. You're watching cats and dogs. Exactly. It does not don't, matter. don't let them get to you, dude. Yep, no, definitely. I pulled up, dude. I was so <laughs> fucking happy about it. It was like fucking Tom Cruise pulling up in Maverick. I was like, oh, I got over the fucking mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Your face is going all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> totally. But I didn't cry at cats and dogs. I mean, this so is an impossible go. mission is to watch this fucking movie. And apparently <laughs> only we could do it. So whatever, uh, Lou the dog steals all the research to save the family because yes. the dog council votes to let them die. And, you know, we're not going to talk about how ridiculous it is that he got all that shit out of the basement. Whatever. Sure. Uh, but he's going to meet the cats on the docks and Alec Baldwin shows up not in the nick of time, and this dog has indeed been beaten up once again. <laughs> he finds him under a pile See, of rope. Thing. That's what I hate about this. Show me this dog getting beaten yeah. yeah. And show me his shit being taken. Well, dude, it's not like it's a fucking Dennis Quaid movie, okay? Like, we're not showing dogs getting Well, also, <laughs> but they also showed you uh, when they did, like, the, the, the fucking Kill Bill fight. Yes. And the house. <laughs> well, what if we did? The cat and the dog. What if they did an Eastern Promises dog fight here? You know, oh, dog yeah, gets you Red Rockets in here. <laughs> exactly. The uh, dog's coming back from a soccer game. And <laughs> Why is it so steamy in here? <laughs> That would be something. Just yeah. a, a fucking Russian bathhouse, but just two dogs fucking fighting. One of them's fucking dong is hanging out. That's why your puppy died inside you. <laughs> oh, man. Uncle whatever dude in that movie, that guy is no help at any time. Uh, Love him. Jersey uh, Skolomowski. That's okay. right. That's right. Played by the great Jersey Skolomowski. Uh, but so now it's the end of the movie, and the people are tied up in a room, and the dog team is going to save them. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's and what's happening. That's uh, pretty much what we're doing. This thing. The funny thing is, this thing that's like going to spray a bunch of people. Yeah, whatever. Kind of reminded me of the end of Roger Rabbit. Yes, also. yeah, exactly. Oh, the, the dip launcher, or whatever. Yeah, the dip gun for sure. 
Um, and, you know, whatever. So Alec Baldwin dog and Lou the dog here break in. It's a big fucking dumb fight. A bunch of these, you know, the, there's some cats that are trying to fight. They're expelled immediately. And whatever. The last thing is, like, when it looks like all is lost and Alec Baldwin dog is going to eat shit, uh, Lou the dog takes control of this fucking gun and sprays the flocking shit all over this cat. And it looks like when Tom Green jerked off the elephant yep. and Freddy got fingered uh, yes. yep. and Rip Torn got hit with all the cum, this dog, this mm-hmm. cat getting hit with all the flocking chemicals, mm-hmm. it just looks like a massive load blasting this thing against a window. Yep. That's right. It's truly, an elephant-sized mm. yeah, cum blast. It's, it's what it is. It's truly disgusting. I would rather watch Michael Vick's cats and <laughs> This fucking movie, man. Oh, dude, that's a short movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing is, thank God the runtime is, you know. It's a short, yeah. loud film. Yeah, you can't buy that over the counter either. It is very oh, no. loud. It is very loud. You fucking asked to rent that, dude. You are put on a list immediately. <laughs> that's the other part about it. It'd be it. really cool if he managed to get them into rental stores. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if Michael Vick uh, redeemed his image so much he could call the puppy bowl. Probably not. That would be a funny uh, turn, you know? It Redemption. might be too far. I know that I, I want to say, by the way, after he did his time. Sure, yeah. Went to society, I want to say he did start some, like, charity animal rescue thing, yeah. charity thing. That also something. did dog fighting. On the and then I think that is the headline <laughs> that's going to come around in, like, another 10 years. Like, oops, he did it I mean, again. I mean, you see those two dogs. They're, I mean, they're just beautiful. You ever wonder, like, what would be if they fought? <laughs> Michael? Yeah. Michael? You, one time, one time, yeah. I, I had Marty at the dog run, and there was some skeezy fucker in there that I hadn't seen before, and he had some gnarly looking dog with him and this guy comes up to me really early in the morning and he's just like yo bro you roll that dog what and i'm like roll and i was like up a hill pardon me no the dog doesn't take ecstasy and he's like yeah bro you roll that dog i was like sir i don't know what that means yeah and he goes come on bro you know you roll that dog. You get that dog in the fights. What? And nice. I was like, no, I don't have my dog in the fights. Jeez. And I fucking put the leash on Marty and we left that dog park, dude. <laughs> wow. That is an amazing. You should, dude, shit. you should have like become an undercover agent. Like, yes, I do. Why oh. don't you let me know where that is? <laughs> yep. You t- oh, man. Missed opportunity. I should. <laughs> well, then you'd be, you're you thrown to be cut by the dog fighting mafia. Which uh, you don't want. The other well, yeah, they call me roller coaster, man. I'm always doing it. <laughs> I'm always. Yeah. They, yeah. Where, where is this happening? I'm I got a new dog every week, man. Ameros Peros would be like, what a fucking good idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's yep, where totally it's at. Like, my my yep. favorite comedy, Amoris Peros. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, whatever. The day is saved. Sure. The family is saved. The fucking factory blows up. The dog eats shit again, though. Yeah, yeah. little, little Lou. It's incredible. This dog yeah. is in a fucking factory explosion, and then they're just like, "Oh fuck, this dog is dead." And it's like the family outside, and then you see Butch, the the Alec Baldwin dog, like drag yes. out this poor bastard puppy. Who's just been knocked senseless once again? This dog is unconscious. Yeah, as once you got the picture of Alec Baldwin dog pulling him out, the dog's okay. You, you <laughs> don't give me this yep. two minutes of breathe, damn you, yes. breathe. Well, because it's like now That's we're doing the, the big emotional swelling music because the kid uh. is so bonded with the dog. It's like I miss you so much. You're not uh. a loser. Uh. You're not a loser. I'm sorry I called you a piece of shit. <laughs> You're not a loser. You're my best friend. Oh. There it is. I'm sorry. I threatened to roll you in the park. <laughs> I almost went with that strange man. <laughs> we see all these mice get arrested as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what weird turn for this because the mice are like going to spread. Which we said, mm-hmm. I don't know where what facility these mice are going. To. I'll, I'll, I'll tell dude. you, dude. I will tell you what facility yeah, these. Yeah, mice are you can read garbage. about it in Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for Christ's sake, yeah. Jesus. Well, that's the thing too. Is like we always pretend. Like that, you know, and then cats do, you know, are, are looking for mice, you know, that, that et cetera, they're, 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 they're predators in that way. Right. A dog isn't going to be like, ooh, a mouse, my best friend. No, a dog will fucking tear a mouse to shreds. And that's yeah. what they're The dogs are taking them into custody. I don't know what happens after that. Mm-hmm. Can I tell you this, Steve? I think for the most part, you are 100% correct. Mm-hmm. But I can tell you from personal experience, <laughs> in our last apartment, we had a fucking mouse problem for a while. Uh-huh. 
One of the many reasons I am so glad to not be living in that building anymore. I killed more mice <laughs> in that that bare hands. No, you grab it, you grab no. it, and go. Crack, no, you crash. get, the, you get the, the sticky pad. You right. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Then you, you, you know, put a thing over it, and then you fucking bam. Right. <laughs> you you bash them. Hammer to the dead, in the head. Know? Point being, what what I'm getting at here is there was one time, and, you know, they're mice, so you'd see them a lot at night and everything. Yeah. Watching TV late at night, me and Marty just hanging out, watching TV, little fucking mouse, like, scutters across. And I'm like, oh, fuck me, here's another one. And I, I look toward the dog, because I'm like, well, she'll do something. Yeah. This dog sees mm-hmm. the mouse, yeah. scuttle the mouse. across, looks at me like, and what are you going to do about it? <laughs> and I was like, you're the fucking dog here, man! Figure it the fuck she did not even get off the couch. It was like, good luck, fatso. You'll <laughs> fucking bash that thing's brains in the morning. Do you see me meowing? Excuse <laughs> yeah, me. Totally. Yeah. Father, do it you see me real, meowing? Like, I don't know what you want me to do here. It was great. Uh, but General. yeah, so Lou the dog is alive. Yay. Oh, uh, that's fucking great. And awesome. Then, uh, he would be dead by now, though, right? Yes. All these absolutely. dogs are dead. Oh, yes. Oh, in yeah. the sequel, uh, the, a little <laughs> casting change, FYI. Uh-oh. Anyone know? What? No. no. Uh, Alec Baldwin did not. Because the sequel's a theatrical. This movie got a theatrically released sequel oh, yeah. absolutely. in 2010, oh, yeah. which Dude, is nuts. It also yep. got a fucking streaming sequel in 2020. Yep. 2020. <laughs> so, isn't it a thing where, like, only about Every ten, this is like the before movies. Yes, like only every ten years we get a dog, <laughs> yeah, yeah. cats and dogs. <laughs> the Revenge like of Kitty that. Galore theatrically released. Yep. Uh, Butch sure. Alec Baldwin's character uh, replaced by one Nick Nolte. Ooh, oh my! Trade up, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. then uh, Lou Dog is now older, and he's replaced by Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, oh okay, well, that's, that's kind of nice. nice. You gotta kill those cats. <laughs> Get the fucking cat! All the fucking cats all the time! Well, that's an idea for us to revisit this franchise. Oh, no, show. please don't. No. Honestly, please I'm, I, no. I'm a little low energy because I want to put a fucking gun in my mouth. <laughs> this is, honestly, I think this is the worst movie we've ever done. This is a new, uh, a new It's a new thing. low. Yeah. It's the first time you said that. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember saying that about Ultraviolet, for instance. Uh-huh. Sure. 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 I don't know what I would give for an ultraviolet today. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of the old ultraviolet instead of this movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, and then whatever. Like Lou decides he's not going to continue on the force because yes. they would transfer him and he wants to stay with the kid and yada yada. The, the Mr. Tinkles is now with a bunch of maids uh, uh, oh, and has yeah. to wear a bunch of outfits, which so, it does not like. By the way, when, when, when your dog runs away or whatever, it, die, it didn't really die or run away. Sure. It was transferred to another agency or, uh-huh. or yeah, not, investigation. Not f- sure. Just remember that, kids. Yeah. It's not FBI. rotting behind a dumpster somewhere. <laughs> yes, it, it's definitely, it's actually rotting behind a dumpster somewhere. But let's say he got transferred to some other family for a, an important case. Yes. Yeah, he got transferred to another agency upstate. That and has, exactly. and that, let's, let us be clear, it's always a dumpster. Yes. That's the, like any dumpster in America just got a, an animal corpse at right least, there. At least a few, yeah. So, Steve, since it's Kitty Galore is like getting the, mm-hmm. the sequel here, mm-hmm. does that mean Tinkles not in the movie? I looked it up. Sean, uh, Sean Hayes does reprise. Ah. Oh, wow. uh, but I think he's probably like a lesser villain. But yeah. also, oh, uh, Wallace Sean takes over for John Lovitz as this Calico character for no reason. Probably has huh. a bigger role, too. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And Kitty Galore, like Pussy Galore. Yeah, I believe it's, I believe it's a Bet Midler. Why? Why Ooh. even? You don't even have to change the name. Yeah, exactly. Like, Pussy, 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 Pussy Galore. They should have just done it. They got Sean Hayes doing Mr. Tinkles, like Brian Cox doing fucking Hannibal Lecter and Manhunter. <laughs> just the one scene. <laughs> oh, I like that. In the little room. <laughs> yep. And that then he, would be kind of great. That calls him on vacation with his family. Your hands are rough, Butch. Like you, like you live on a dock. <laughs> Are you all up on your shots? <laughs> that is a that that's a flea repellent that has a ship on the bottle, doesn't it, Butch? <laughs> <laughs> he does a pretty great Hannibal Lecter in that movie. It's it's a God great movie. It's, it's fantastic. Awesome. Stay, stay tuned, by the way, for oh, the, on the sure. WLM. Wonderful oh, yeah. movie. Um, and then the end of it, whatever. The last like fun joke is this: Mr. Tinkles. Uh, goes to live with the maid yeah. who lives with her three sisters uh, who, who are also maids. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, oh, one of these these dear. maids, anybody spot it? Keen Seinfeld guest star. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Carol no. Ann Susie, the woman who's the daughter of the unemployment agency lady. Oh, who's like, oh thanks yes. a lot, George. I can't remember the last time I ate at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> And she's on IMDb, which is so fucked up with the cast listing. She's listed before Tobey Maguire and Alec Baldwin because they're so fucking terrible on that site. I hate how when you have movies like this where it's live action and animation, all the voice stuff, no matter... Yeah. The you know the the, the, the level of the the character yeah like it will always be dumped at the bottom of it yeah, yeah. fucking sucks speaking of fucking sucks we'll start with Eric would oh, you recommend this movie? it fucking sucks <laughs> my fucking god this fucking sucks <laughs> I couldn't stand it honestly like I said I think this is one of the worst ones we've ever done I would never recommend it I would re- you what you there's so many. Watch anything else. Watch Michael Vick's movies. Watch <laughs> Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Watch yeah. that. Watch sure. Baby Napped coming soon to our Lifetime podcast. Absolutely. Also bad, but this is just a new nadir of terrible for me. That is my two cents. There you go. Chris Cabin. Oh, yeah. You can't watch this. You can't be doing that to yourself. <laughs> um, the, I mean, what I hate, these movies, like, this is one of those things where, like, it feels like they wanted to see if they could pull off the dog mouth. Uh, shit and like the dog action shit and like yeah. the fa- and like it really just feels like a test reel for v- uh, VFX like yes and they're just like hey maybe we'll make money and then this America was like ninety three million directly to you sir yep so yeah it it, it haunts me these kind of <laughs> movies so, no Steve I would not um big cat guy. I also like dogs too and I I'm a fan of dumb cute animals doing dumb cute shit. But the, the it just it's so CGI'd and so like overload with the fucking spy tropes and the stupidity of it all. Like, yeah, that's it's true. Just, At least Milo and Otis they had skin in the game. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's true. That's Homeward cute, Bound. I mean, yeah, that's oh, yeah. It's a cute dog scampering around doing yeah. cute shit. I I yep. can get into that movie. I can't get into this. No, no, thank you. No. Yeah, this is trash. I you know this came out when we were working at the multiplex. Oh, I have yeah. no fucking memory of seeing a second of it. It, I was so shocked about it. And I have to say, like, you know, we're into this whole fucking COVID thing for fucking so many years now. And between, like, isolation and people getting sick and the mass death that we're not acknowledging in any appropriate way, all of this, there's a lot that we have to be doing to take care of ourselves mm-hmm. out there, looking out for one another mm-hmm, and looking absolutely. out for ourselves mentally and everything. Do yourself a favor and do not watch this fucking movie it's, because it'll yeah. make it all worse. It's yes. self-harm. Yeah. It is. It's yeah. absolute it is. self-harm. Yeah. It's fucking total trash, and that is the end of it. That is Dogs and Cats, directed by Lawrence Guterman from 2001. If you want more We Hate Movies where we're not talking about cats and dogs, there is a fucking bevy of content over on Patreon.com slash We Hate Movies. Oh, my movies. God. We got, a, got an episode on Jurassic Park, the original OG. Oh, yeah. The good one, the one good one on We Love Movies this month. Yes. One out of six ain't bad, I guess. <laughs> yep. We're, as Eric brought up, we're going to be doing Once in a Lifetime again. There's yep. going to be Baby Napped. That's right. Baby Napped, which is about a, uh, what was that about again? A baby gets uh, kidnapped. Kidnapped. Yes. A.K.A. Uh, what was it? Born and Born missing. And Born missing. and missing. From yeah, 2017. Yeah, yeah you, you could. That's one you could also just listen to us on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you want to yeah. check it out, check it out. Uh, that we also have who we got in the Gleep Glossary this month, Eric. Well, we got Luxor Droids, oh, the yeah. uh, <laughs> Stormtrooper, That's right. uh, who has a very huge backstory we will get to. That's incredible. Speaking of Star Wars, we're doing every we're doing recaps of every episode of Kenobi, which we're liking thus far. Yeah, Stunningly, so far, pretty good. It's not that fucking dog shit Boba Fett show, so yeah, that works out. We got nice. that going for us. We got a new Melro coming out, uh, Melro 2 and 0, of course, where... Uh, this month on the program, man, the end of the Keith saga mm-hmm. in glorious fashion. <laughs> it's actually, yeah. it works out perfectly. It's the end of the Keith saga and the end of the Emily Valentine saga as well. That's right. Yeah. Uh, well, only one of those characters is able to come back in later seasons. <laughs> That's true. Find out which one on Melrose 210. Uh, so all that and a ton of other shit. Speaking of fucking cats and dogs, a talking cat is out. Yep. Hear my mind melt while I watch that for the first time live on the air. There's a bunch of shit, man. Patreon.com slash We Hate Movies. And here on the main feed, the show will, of course, continue new episodes every Tuesday. Steve, what are we 
uh, flogging ourselves with next week. I'm going to say we're going to keep it family friendly next week, but I guarantee you, I, I don't know. We haven't recorded this. So obviously, we usually go in order. I'm going to guess it's going to be one of the more filthier episodes we ever do. Oh, Uh-oh. okay. It's Despicable Me. Oh, yeah. The Ooh. minions are coming so to town. this is when they're birthed, like the Steve Carell yes. Gargamel. Yep. Yeah. Starts pooping them out. Yeah, little corns. Yeah, we're tying into your minions, your bad t-shirt at the beach. Absolutely. Here it comes. <laughs> so until next week, where minions are in bikinis or some Ooh, shit, I don't good. know. Okay. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Seda. Eric Siska. Chris Gavin. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast.